Hello, internet friends, and welcome to Quests and Cthulhu. Thank you so much for spending part of your geek end with us. We really appreciate it. Uh, this is the third game of Cthulhu I have run in th two days. Uh, I've run been running uh, for Chaosium at Gen Con. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, but uh, you know, you, you forget how lucky you are to have great players when you play with uh, people you don't know. And, and Amy. Uh, just, just a few quick announcements to get through. As always, beer is lovely, I hear. Um, Thomas, uh, our, our good friends, at, I almost said, <laughs> Thomas is taking over. I almost said Thomas Biersch. Someday, someday. Uh, uh, Gordon Biersch, we really appreciate their sponsorship. Uh, it, it is lovely to see. Uh, we have uh, Birds of Paradise, of course, the Ooh. official dice of Quests and Chaos. Uh, they are, uh, uh, they're good dice, man. They roll well. Just get yourself some Birds of Paradise. We have a code. I think it's chaotic. If you enter that on the website, you get 15% off your order. Um, I have been super impressed with the shipping time of these dice. They show up very quickly to your order. So uh, uh, you can get, you can order some and have your dice for the next week's game. Probably. Uh, uh, so we have another full week here at Quests and Chaos of entertainment for you. Half full, I guess, really. Monday, it's Rick and Morty. It's the finale, probably, given how we do these. It was a one shot to start with, and now it's, what is this, number eight or something? Uh, okay. So uh, it, is, it is, we are promised, it is the finale of Rick and Morty D&D. &D. Look forward to it. We have, is, is, um, is that other project going to start on Mondays then? The 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 new yep. one? Oh, very yeah. exciting. Have Ice we announced Fire that yet? What? What? Have we announced that other project? Yeah. I don't want to. Probably not, but it's just D&D &D Ice Fire Peak. Wow, that was almost how I would have said it. It's just yeah. D&D. &D. Uh, it's just D &D. The That's cool all it is. About, I'm out. God. Uh, the cool thing about that is the GM, because James is returning to the GM seat, and I, uh, that's awesome. I really enjoyed his one shot, his, his mitten, his, was it a, it was a multi-part mitten, I guess. Yeah, it but, it's the uh, tower. Uh, I, I really enjoyed the way he was running it, and oh my God, somebody in chat has an everything is fine I, uh, uh, icon thing, and I need that. Where, where did that what? come from? I need that. Winter, Winter Nightingale. Yeah, well, how does, why, and why are there vowels in that Winter Night? It should be everything's fine. <laughs> uh, uh, that is awesome. I need that. I don't know how you get those little pictures in the chat thing. I'm old, but uh, I need that. Uh, so Monday, Rick and Morty one last time. And then starting on Mondays, Dragon something Spire Ice. It's a whole thing. <laughs> James is running. That's the important part. Uh, it looks like a fun cast. I think it's going to be a neat time. Uh, Tuesday, we're back to Thomas. We're back to Thomas Classic. People I found to Thomas. new Thomas got a, you know new Thomas got a big marketing push. People thought they were going to love it. Turns out they just wanted Thomas Classic, so we're going back to Thomas Classic. Uh, uh, it is uh, the old formula. It's you know it's like a it's like a it's like a comfy shirt. You know it. It's not too great. It's not too bad, but you know. It works. Smells okay. Uh, so Chaos Agents back, back for uh, Tuesday. And then we are back here Saturday. And sometime in August, depending on Thomas's schedule, one of the Tuesdays in August, I cordially invite you to the Dark Vision Song Contest. It will be a fifth edition Battle of the Bands. Uh, me running fifth edition D&D. It really is the end of the world. <laughs> it is. Well, how much running and how much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm running from <laughs> Dean. <laughs> and I feel fine. <laughs> I, uh, uh, you know. Yes, I'm designing it so that I have to do as little as possible. I'm going to let you all cause all the trouble. Uh, but that that is going to be sometime in Tuesday. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure that out sometime in Tuesday. Sometime in August <laughs> uh, on a day that Thomas has real life that he has to do. Uh, and I guess I'll have to change my name to Thomas for that day. To be yes, you do. You will. Uh, uh, Thomas, I'll be uh, Tom. No. So it's Ezra, just Thomas Tuesday. Ezra uh, won't be running D&D &D then. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Technically, yes. Uh, so uh, uh, we're going to have at the break. Now, 
I have to check on this and, and chat, you can decide, but at the break, we are gonna have a giveaway of some Libris Arcana dice and it's possible that Amy is gonna use them during this game, which, which um, either completely destroys the resale value or raises the resale value. We're not sure which, but are you gonna use them this time? I'll try. Uh, I'll try. I mean, here's the thing. If I just teleport to, you know, to the Bahamas, probably not. We can do that? I want to do that. Can we do that? Well, didn't, I mean, technically we have that portal. I mean, it's going to take use of power, but. Oh, I, I was like in real life. I'm all, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to the Bahamas. Uh, yeah, I do too. Uh, so. Uh, we will be giving away at the break those uh, uh, Libra Sarcana dice yep. that will uh, that will have the the special magic that only Amy can bring to dice <laughs> all over them. Ugh. That sounded really bad. <laughs> yeah, I believe. Well, it's better than the first time I said it when I think I used the word smegma back in the day. That was actually wasn't that that might have been the world ending. I think yeah. the World Ender dice were a giveaway. Wow. I wow. think the World Ender, because it was, we were doing a thing where every time you fumbled, you had to pass the dice. Yeah. yeah. I ended up with that. Amy. Yeah, that's right. Look at that. Yeah. We, we, yeah, we thanks, have a, we, thanks, Libris. We have a <laughs> habit of giving away the dice that uh, kill universes and player characters. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, uh, so I think that's everything we've got. Amy, let's watch you do math. Okay, so a little math here. In fact, we're okay, so we're gonna start backwards. We're gonna go backwards, we're gonna go upside down. Um, braid it in five ash, 500 to the players. Thank you very much. Let me find my little bucket of things. So we start with four, so this is now our fifth. What? Shh, no, it's us first, then him. Stop telling me what to do. Anyway, and then also Wait, Braden this five a, se ash. a segment on the Untitled podcast. This it pretty is much is like stop telling me what to do. Actually, that should be a segment. Stop telling me what to do. And um, then no, that's awesome. another Kickstarter. It'll be yep. It'll be connected to uh, uh, the Week in Kickstarter. Yep, this Week in Kickstarter. Don't tell me how to spend my money. <laughs> <laughs> that's everybody here at this table. Don't Ezra. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Pile of games. It's not okay, even my money. <laughs> It's our money. Yeah. Braden Five Ash also gave five hundred bits to the TPK fund, so I'm assuming this goes to Ezra. I mean, you know, there have been times when it could go to Emma. Buddy, friend, pal, friend. I like you. Stop making me dislike you. If it's if it's TPK, then he only gets it if he TPKs. It's conditional. Ooh. This yeah. is yeah. I was about to say it has to be. This is for the world ending scenario right here. All right, and as per usual, thank you, Squirrel on the Run, five hundred yeah. bits. Our favorite. Yeah, that's yeah. why I can't back another Kickstarter because she keeps giving <laughs> you people bits, and we appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like a ploy. She's yeah, Squirrel's probably like, I just need less stuff in this house, so <laughs> I'm just gonna start giving away bits. You are not wrong. Okay. All right, so Tamagatora, um, 500 to Ezra because everything's fine. The everything's fine campaign. I need that thing. Yeah. Yep. And then 1,000 um, from Tamagatora to Thomas for Space Chaos. Nice, so take yeah. Take the knife out. So that's, I get to save that for next time, right? No. <laughs> no. Hey, we could end up in space. It's been done before on this show. Uh, but... Let's pause for a moment and congratulate Thomas on completing uh, his one shot of Cthulhu in space. Uh, um, he teased me. I haven't finished the last episode yet, so I don't know who's died. And he told me that I have to finish and watch. So I, I don't know. I want to I want to find out, like, how many people died. I will, I will say as, as a player, the ending took me completely by surprise and I'm still thinking about it almost a week later. So really good game. I really enjoyed it. If y'all haven't watched the three part, the, the three part one shot, you really, really should. Check it out. It's an amazing cast. I love the chaos agents because they just go crazy with their characters. They just Wait, get so they, the character. Did they, and... did they kill each other? Because when I ran Cthulhu for them, they, they like almost immediately started trying to kill each other. There were moments I was worried they might be, they might just do that. 
<laughs> there, there, there were moments when I was worried we were going to turn on each other. It's why I was consciously like backing down a little bit sometimes. Please, Amy, okay. continue your math. All right, so before we get to the best for last, um, Lonely Yeti, 312, 1,000 for the players. Thank you very much, Lonely Yeti. All right, and then are we ready, ladies and gentlemen, saving the best for last? Number one, the Baroness, 1,000 to Ezra. Please give us our G.I. Joe moment. Baroness wins, as always. The G.I. Joe moment this week is a little different. So there's a, uh, uh, there's a board game that uh, uh, came out last year called Unmatched, and it's a really cool idea. It is a modular board game where two things fight against each other. And the reason it's modular is that as they release more uh, things, you could fight uh, dinosaurs against Buffy the Vampire Slayer and uh, uh, or Jack the Ripper versus whatever. And so they have a contest right now where you can submit what you think should be the next unmatched. And you best believe I submitted unmatched G.I. Joe versus Cobra. Uh, it is, uh, it's a, it's a really fun little game. It's a, uh, it's a, a, a little board and then sort of some moving combat and you play cards to give your things powers. And, you know, some of them are like a single really powerful thing. Some of them are a lot of smaller power things, but it's a really neat idea. The sort of scaling of the various adversaries so that you can bring out, you know, you could fight a uh, uh, Velociraptors versus you know, uh, red, red, uh, red, Rob, red Riding Hood or something like that, fairy tale characters. So I have submitted, uh, and, and and now I have to actually like come up with stats and suggest characters and stuff. So I'm working on that. And best believe the Baroness will be in there for sure. Uh, but that is, <laughs> look, Amy's doing math in real time. <laughs> that was outstanding. I love that. Uh, and and, so, and, and, and and I mean, Sir Pintor has to be in there too, right? Oh, Sir, Sir Pintor, Pintor is my, you know, yeah. The problem is I, all my favorites are the Cobra guys. not And so the G.I. Joes, I'm like, I don't care which ones are in there, except it's got to, I, I want to make them all just the pet G.I., the G.I. Joe pet uh, squad. Yes, oh my God, do it. Submit there. Uh, okay. uh, but there, that's so a, our, a little G.I. Joe side moment. Okay, so there's more bits and apparently I lost one. That was the math base. Um, so... <laughs> Stilbo gave 500 to Alexandria for saving us from a TPK. So that goes in our pile. So now it's your responsibility to not kill us. Um, yeah. And then right. Jay Matthews gives 500 to uh, Thomas for nailing it. Oh, thanks. Damn. Some value yep. of it. I don't know. Yep. And then uh, the ending. It? Yeah, no, it's the ending, nailing the ending. Oh. And then... Um, Wait a minute, what do you mean a thousand? Stop talking to me in chat, people. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> um, and then 500 to Ezra, least he felt felt left out. Oh, okay, wow. no, I think with, Ezra's got five, five uh, inspiration, I think he's done. And then supposedly I missed one from the Baroness. I don't oh. know where that is. I think is. she gave some to Thomas as well. Ooh, I'll take it. Right. <laughs> I'm taking it. How much? How much in chat did I miss? Five hundred, a thousand? I feel a thousand is appropriate. The Baroness. The Baroness doesn't do anything halfway. Okay, a thousand to us then. I feel that's appropriate. I'll I roll with that. Yep. Uh, as we always, we will roll with it. <laughs> thank you so much for the bits. We really uh, appreciate them. It is uh, ridiculous what you do every week in this cha channel and. Uh, frankly, you should all be ashamed of yourselves. If you need <laughs> less bits, you could get more Kickstarters. That's all I'm saying. Or you know, you could you could keep the uh, the meager lights that are uh, currently on me on in the, the fancy lights in the studio. I miss the jungle or the forest. That's right, you were in the, the forest. forest. Went away. Yeah, unfortunately. Alas, you guys really mm -hmm. cleaned up the studio. Wow. Yeah, Thomas <laughs> went in with the weed whacker and just you know. Uh, finally uh, uh, cleaned it up and, and then took the weed whacker to his own hair. That was the... <laughs> it looks better now, you know, a couple of weeks afterwards. It's, it's growing in. I mean, see, at least he has the advantage on me that it's going to grow back. Mine's not, you know. 
There, there are parts well, that are just, just not coming the, back anymore. He has the advantage of being six foot four that nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he could literally be bald <laughs> right here, but nobody knows because nobody can see that high. He, 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 he crouches really weird behind like the panels. So I can like he's usually this tall on me when, when I'm coming over to the to the to the panel to look at something. So, you know, like, he folds up funny. <laughs> he folds up funny. <laughs> That might be a. <laughs> uh, it sounds vaguely Cthulhu-y. Yeah. Uh, so uh, last session, I actually enjoyed. Um, last session, Nick described as we were uh, getting ready here. Nick just said last section was all just damage control, uh, and uh, in the course of damage control, you caused a great deal of damage. Uh, you uh, so you returned to Shanghai and you uh, got the the. the Bloated woman disappeared, and you uh, you ended up finding some of Madame Lin's people who were uh, who were watching that, and you fl- uh, chased one of them and uh, let him go. And then your your translator ratted you out because you treated him pretty awfully, uh, and he he ratted you out to Madame Lin, and you were attacked by Madame Lin's forces. Uh, where we found out that really Madame Lin just still hasn't gotten over Emma and uh, tried to hurl her into the ocean, but Emma discovered that she is an Olympic level diver and (laughs) splashed right into the ocean, uh, amazingly. Uh, And uh, you managed to deal with uh, a couple snipers that were holding you down and made your way out. And you found from the translation, you know the uh the the correct capstone for each of the rituals in each of the areas and you also know the ritual itself and what you need to do so you've got the formation of a plan i believe according to the calendar tomorrow is the full moon i think it's actually today because we are we are early morning may 7th early morning of the 7th Mm -hmm. all right so the full moon is tonight um it is uh, it is like three or four in the morning. We ended last session with a long philosophical discussion about uh, mm. if they should kill people and where they can find innocent people and how they should go about doing the stuff they did. And well, well we did send we, the backup is we did ping Rogers and tell him to have his version of innocent pe- blood people ready. Yep. Yeah. So, and he's still not sure where he's going to find innocent people either. That's the. Um, so yeah, it is. It's like two or three in the morning, on uh, the seventh. Um, you've been you've been booted out of yet another warehouse. And you're, I believe you were actually just going to end up going to a hotel. Was your. Mm. Nope. No, no, we, 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 oh, that's we, right. you're going to, you're, we, we broke into another, another uh, warehouse and, yeah. and have been using that. And Dr. Hollister administered a fuck ton of morphine to uh, Donald to get him to lay down and actually get worked on. That's right. It was necessary for him to stop moving. Alexandria wasn't arguing with you, even though I'm reasonably sure she saw that happen. Yes. Uh, uh, there was a, a minor player assault with uh, morphine and, uh, you know, it was probably all for the good as Donald was about to go out by himself. Not complaining. Uh, 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 and take care of business. So, yeah, there, there's where we are. It's it's 2.30 in the morning. It's been a hell of a day. I think we were actually, are, are, we, are we considering just calling it quits on Shanghai for now and given how little time we have going directly to Egypt? I mean, the, the, the point could be made that we have seven more full moons. So it isn't dire that we catch this one, but I would- more than seven. We should have seven, because this is May. May. No, is it, it, well, so, so seven after this one. So it'd be June, July, August, September, November. There might or, be two in one of those. October. Yeah, there might be two. That's true. Um, no, actually, the eighth is a full moon. The twenty second is the absence of the moon, and the thirtieth is the half. Mm-hmm. So the full actually happens on June sixth. Two in June, then, right? Are nope. There, 
Yeah, there's there's probably a month where there's two, so we have seven or eight after this one. Because yeah, we're still we're not halfway through the year yet. I don't want to wait another month to do something. It's October. Ooh, the thirty first of October. <laughs> the thirty first of October is a full moon, Ooh, and it's the second moon in October. So I'm sure there's a real. I'm sure there's a technical thing for it, but yeah, yeah. and. Just to let everybody know, 1925 actually does mirror 2020. So in reality, there should be two full moons in this October coming up. There you go. A blue moon in October. I, Very exciting. Not that, that I'll be in bed before the moon comes up, but that's fine. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if there's going to, does that mean there's going to be another eclipse in, in 2021 in January? I or think so, but I think it's in the Southern Hemisphere. Right. Like, I think, because yeah. I know somebody who's like talking about traveling for it. Right. That seems wise. He says with no right. star so uh yeah uh are, you guys are talking about possibly uh uh ditching shanghai i hear talk of a letter that i've not heard about i'm very excited about so i that that does lead kind of to to, to, to the next question that we wanted to address do we go into madame lynn's and nick the the idol i mean uh, it's risky I it's real there, risky. Yeah, there's only one person who I would actually suggest do that job, and I would suggest they do it alone. And I look over at Donald. He's currently he's <laughs> currently very he's currently passed out. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, I I agree that he is the quieter of of all of us. However, I don't want him going into Madame Lynn's alone. That is. A recipe for disaster partially because what if he gets caught partially because what if the thing on the back of his neck decides and decides to screw us over mm. and what's his medical situation right now highly medicated he is like mm. baby i mean out of character it would be what's his hit points but oh. like he's been bad he's, he's he's fine now a couple of hit points lost at this point everything's fine yeah, I did. I, I did real good first aid on 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 scene, and then and then the doctor came in with medicine. Okay. Yeah, but, I don't know. It's like yeah, it, it sounds like it's going to be a hard thing to go into to Madeline's and do anything. Can we do that after we do the ritual? I mean, yeah. If if we come back later, we'll have the element of surprise. So I I, I suppose that well maybe, but that does I suppose. You never do depend on on whether or not we want to just not come back to Shanghai yeah, no, ever, really, which I'm in favor of. We we know her. Ah. We might be able to open a door directly to that room later, walk right in, walk right out. I am hesitant to overuse the doors if we don't have to, because I mean, Yusuf. I, I, I know that you don't know him very well, probably, but y Yusuf is a friend of ours. And Screw Dr. I, Kafour. I don't I don't know Dr. Kafour very well. <laughs> so I am hesitant to do any I we don't know what the long-term effects of that are is doing to his brain. So the the more that we can minimize its use, the better I think. Mm. Well <clears throat> if we go to Madame Lynn's when we would have to wait until tonight, correct? And if we do, then we miss the full moon. And then we or we go off. right now. We have to go right now. Then, and, 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 and I look over at Donald, who's out cold. Yeah, then then that would be Alexandria going in by herself. Which I'm also not a fan of, but I'm I don't know how sneaky you guys can be, or no offense, how how you are in a fight. If it came down to it. Terrible. Yeah, I, I mean have some, but uh, you know, not the level that you're at. Well, I've been. I, I very much hope that people aren't at the level that I'm at because I've been doing this since I was a child. So, it, it, yeah, if we if we were to go into Madame Lynn's, I would very much advise that we take more time to assess the situation, see if she has any sort of movement pattern, go in when she's not there not worrying about if it's day or night, just if she's not there, that would be the time to go in and get out. Well, she's generally there during the day and goes out to her clubs at night, or at least that was her pre-gorilla pattern. Again, I'd love some more time to collect some intel on how she actually goes about things now. 
That said, though, I don't want to, I, I don't want to stay in Shanghai and do that recon, and we don't know anyone that we trust here now. I mean, we got attacked last night. Yeah, yeah. And if we stay here much longer, she'll find us again, again. and do it again. Agreed. So I think we got to get out of here. I agree. All right. Now, whether or not we make a pit stop at Madame Lynn's right now or not. I think, I think it depends. It really does. <clears throat> Would Do it be, is it possible for the door to go blip, blip? Like go blip to there and then blip to Egypt From, or it has to be just one? It'll go to the You've headquarters. Not seen, You've not seen that possibility. It seems like every time you see it, the door opens and then, and then you know, once you close it, it's done. Yeah. So, yeah. So I, I, I guess it comes down to do we think that it will be safe to ju to come back to Shanghai to retrieve it? Yeah, because what happens, the translators already set us up once. I mean, I hate yeah. to say this, but the translator set us up. He could blab to Madame Lin <clears throat> about everything. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't even think about that. I, that just hit me. Shoot. Loose I'm lips sure make jade that. statues. Oh, wait. Good yeah. Work, I tried to be... <sighs> we can just pay to have another jade statue made. Do we know what it looks like? Yes. I've, I've seen it several. I've seen it multiple times, and yep. I think Emma has, too. Well, yep. well yeah, we have that. That's the, cap, the capstone, but that's not the jade yep. statue. And the eye has to be this. Yeah, we're talking yeah, about... Because it's the same about, thing. But it's different. It's just, but So... If the I hand you some paper that you draw it, oh. The the statue or whatever is different. Those symbols are always the same. Yeah. Mm. But I, I'm still just trying to get a beat on like, are we confident that we know what it looks like? Like if you can sketch it with some degree of accuracy, let's just make a new one. Um, you can I'd... smash it into a thousand pieces. Who cares? We'll make a new one. I'll I'll glance around and see and see if I can find you know paper and pencil and and uh, but getting a piece of jade that big and getting it carved. It's pretty expensive. I, we yeah. could have Rogers do it. We could have Rogers do it. He did. <laughs> yeah, he, you've he, asked he, him for. Oh, no, he'd kick us. Well, he so did hard. say he, he did say he wanted to mass produce these things, and it says in the ritual what is necessary. So, although the ritual. In this instance, the ritual seems to be pretty geographically specific. Oh, and so I have to... mass producing might recall might require some extrapolation. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Guys, we got to figure this out. I, I... But what's what's the problem with with making one and bringing it there? Making a jade statue. Getting well, a big piece of jade, getting it carved, get getting things, yeah, yeah. A yeah. good size piece of jade. We would have to carve it correctly. And, and things in. Exactly. Expensive and time consuming. And we're working off of our memories. Actually, that, that, that's a good question. Is there a drawing or anything like that in the scrolls? Yeah. There are no we'll illustrations. We'll be working off of our memories. And I think I can sketch it with reasonable accuracy, but... I hand you a notepad and pencil. Uh, all right, make me a, let's call it an intelligence roll. Oh, good. In the box. Uh, that is 50, so that is a success, but all not right. a hard success. You, you draw something that looks very like a bloated woman and you superimpose those hieroglyphics that you can copy off of that into the middle. Yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll be like sitting on 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 the warehouse on the warehouse floor just sketching, and then like hold hold it up and be like, Emma, does this look right? Yep, looks pretty good. <laughs> she barely even looks. Yep, up. <laughs> I'm like yeah, whatever. Yeah, fantastic. But again, that's basing it on my memories and Emma's memories, and what if that's wrong? We can do more research on the bloated woman if it's a matter of capturing her likeness. I, I don't know. This this doesn't seem like that much of a problem. But if we have something that's already made, that's 
<laughs> I'm sorry, that's guarded by a, a psychotic immortal gorilla. Uh, uh, I, I think the government can foot the bill on this one. <laughs> it's guarded by a heartbroken psychotic gorilla that is probably tearing up pieces of Shanghai at the moment. Are you making a case for going or against going? Yeah, so, I'm confused now. <laughs> I'm, ma I'm making a case for going because if she's out tearing up Shanghai, she's not at home guarding the thing. And then all her other immortal gorillas are dead. And human guards, we can deal with human guards. Oh. But what do we do with the unconscious Donald right now? I mean... Let him rest? He should rest. I just, I would think that it might um, make the most sense that if we're, we need to be someplace close. So Alexandria doesn't need to get very far yeah. from Madame Lynn's in order for us to just leave. Yeah, we're in a truck. Okay. That's true. We, we, we do have, have the big rental truck. So we could, yeah. you know, load Donald up into the back of that. And then, you know, you guys drive home. <laughs> you, and you guys drive relatively close so I can just get there and then just floor it. Is anyone good at driving? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope. I, I live in New York. I have no reason to drive. Oh, no, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got some, some driving skills. You have some in drive? That's awesome. Well, you might be our getaway driver. <laughs> We're going to want to get some distance before we in make there. it. Here's a question. Why can't we just drive the truck through the portal? It's Into their door. office. It's, it's a size, it's a size of a door, not the size of a garage door. Remember okay. that? Yeah. yeah. I think Roger should work on that. Like just, have, <laughs> just a little clicker. Just be like ring. No more use of like size. <laughs> the poor thing. A little bit of a single tear and a little bit of blood drips. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we were making the comparison to Stranger Things earlier. Yes. Uh, all right. So it's it's almost morning time. Uh, well, then if it's if we've been spending a while doing this, then we're going to have to do it now and not later. Then that, and that is the question. Do we do that or do we take the risk that she's going to break the damn thing? Because if the, if, if the translator ratted us out, he'll probably... I, I know. I, I've given my recommendation. I forgot. What is it? Don't do it. Yeah, just get a new one. It'll be good enough. But we'd have to wait an entire month. Yeah, well, we already okay, have one more entire month cuz we're going One more question. One more question. If what happens if somehow Stanford gets a hold of it? Then what? Nothing? Who cares? Yeah, we make a new one. Okay. Nope, but can, Yeah, cuz presumably he does not want to seal. Yeah. 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 Sorry. But he would want it to destroy it, thinking that that would be the only one. So if yeah. we are able to make another one and he destroys the one at Madame Lynn's, then to us, it's who cares? Moving on. Do you think he knows that we have the scrolls? Yes. Does Madame Lynn care about Stanford? Or I guess more importantly, he doesn't even know who he is. Let's just assume yeah. the worst. I mean, I generally assume the worst in these situations, yes. Oh, so if it's if it's morning though, how is uh how's Donald doing? Is he starting to come? I mean, I'm not gonna wake him up, but Donald, make me a constitution roll. All right, let's see. Zero three. I'm good. Wow. Yeah, nice. waking up on his own. He feels great. <laughs> Meanwhile, all of us are like, I hate you. Stop it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, good morning, good morning. <laughs> It's got to be the, the magic in his neck or something. That's not human. <laughs> hey, Donald, want to go housebreaking? All right, let's do this before we get out of town. <laughs> I love the doctor's expression. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to process. If you don't sustain any more injuries for one week, Donald, I will buy you bottle of booze of your choosing price is money is no object i'll take you up on that offer but i'm no. still going okay no i'm just just, just no no injuries right. well, no. injuries sounds good seems oh, unlikely 
All right. If he's willing to go, then we'll be back up. We'll drive over there. Yep. Let's get in the truck. Yep. All right. Uh, so what is your plan for assault number something on Madam Lynn? Well, actually, this might be your first assault on Madam yeah. Lynn's place. Mm -hmm. How about we use the roof of the truck to get over the fence? Do we want to drive a truck close? There, it's it's not quiet. It's a moving truck, basically. It's yeah, just just park it right next to the uh, the, the wall. Yeah, because that yeah. won't get any attention. Yeah, it's a delivery truck. I would think that we'd want to park it a ways away. Well, we will after they get over the wall. We would take off. My my concern is much more getting back out over the fence, coming the other direction. I'm no longer riding shotgun. <laughs> and we have no way to communicate with each other, do we? Once they're over, it's a it's a meetup point. So yeah, yeah, we're going to figure out where we're going to park and wait at a certain time. I think I I think you guys park um, four or five blocks away, far enough away that that it looks like you're actually a delivery vehicle of some variety, um, oh. but not but not so far away that it looks weird that we're hauling this massive stuff. <laughs> Let's let's try like maybe one or two blocks away because uh, I think gorillas can move faster than people. Yeah. No, no. If you're How running. Is wall? Like you How, much, lot, how high is it? Uh, the wall to her place is about eight feet tall. Oh, not that's bad. Fine. Then I, I can easily lift Alexandra up. She can pull me up as well. If that's not a problem. Uh, almost all of her defenses were ornamental uh, because she used to have two immortal oh, gorillas nice. that you know would keep anyone. Remember the guards were unarmed, if I recall correctly. There we go in the back, or the side. We're okay. we're we're gaining daylight though, so we need to get a move on. We need to go. Yeah. We'll, right. we'll have this conversation in the back as uh, Joan drives. Sure, I'm used to people talking behind my back. <laughs> Ooh, no. All right, so the car, the truck pulls up. Uh, a couple blocks away, and you guys make your way to uh, Madame Lynn's, and you, uh, everything seems very quiet. It seems like, you know, this is not a morning place. Fair. Yeah, so so we'll we'll come alongside the wall, probably uh, uh, far around the corner and down the way a bit from uh, the guard station, assuming there's no, like, patrols or anything like that. None that you've seen, no. Okay. This like this whole thing is just a monument to overconfidence. All right, so we've got a rope with us. Um, I'll take a couple of uh, pistols with me, and then that's about it. Rope and pistols should be sufficient. Yeah, and I, of course. And and I have my daggers, of course. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you you get over the wall, no problem. Uh, and place. again, her house is a little more modern. There's essentially the the you are in a bamboo grove. <laughs> Uh, where there used to be gorillas. And um, the the whole, this side of the house is basically uh, mostly glass, mostly windows. So you can see um, the house is dark uh, inside. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything moving around. Uh, and, um, you know, you could probably climb the, that room is on the second floor of the house. So you could put, and there's a, there's a balcony there and then the glass door would pull open. So you could probably just climb up there. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll lift you up with the rope. Mm -hmm. So hang on one second. I slip Alexandria a note, um, put, this, put this where the statue is before she goes in. Sorry, I'm having computer problems. So I wasn't totally in there for yeah. a second, but yeah. All right. And I'll, 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 I'll take it, glance at it, nod and slip it in inside my, my, uh, sh my shirt. All right. So uh, both of you make me stealth rolls. Yeah. All right. Uh, reg Fifty-three is a regular success. Okay. Uh, goodness, that is a ten, which is not a critical success, but very close. You are the knight. Yes. So you make it up to the base of the building, uh, at, with no problems. No one has even seen you. Excellent. All right. Lift Alexandra up into the second floor balcony with the rope. Yeah, and I mean we've we, we've done this before, so it's really it's for me, you know, hands, foot lifted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you are there. Uh, you are in front of uh, uh, that that large dining room. Um, now that you're up there next to the window, it looks like um, 
a tornado has hit this place or an angry gorilla, one of the two. Is the statue still intact? So none of the things that were in here are in here right now. Oh no. Um, All right, I'll, I'll tie off the rope and, dro and drop it down for Donald. All right. Oh, the wow. statue. All right. The statue. Uh, and you are on the second floor. You're like I said, Donald. Now you see what uh, Alexander saw. This this room has been ravaged. All right. We'll, we'll collect that rope first off. Um, let's carefully check the door. Is it is it open, locked? What's the condition? Uh, it is the the sliding door is open, so you can just slide it aside and go in. After you. All right, and I, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw one of my daggers and just hold it loosely down by my side as I as I slide the door open and step inside carefully, looking and listening around. All right. Um. So one. Uh, um. Hmm. So as you come in, you are immediately hit with the stench of death. Something in here has died, and it smells awful. Oh. Really hate that smell. Starting to become accustomed to it, unfortunately. Yeah, and just because you're accustomed doesn't mean you don't want to vomit. <laughs> Where do you think she, we should go? Where would she put this thing? I'm going to stop it, pause, and think about it because we've seen most of the house at this point, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, um, Emma's seen most of the house. Uh, mo the rest of you have mostly seen, and and actually, uh, uh, Flint saw a fair amount of the house, but. Uh, you guys have mainly seen this room and then the hallway and the 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 sort of the the antechamber and okay. uh, sorry, this is, and the dining room. Um, so both of you make spot hidden rolls. Here we go. So I I failed that by two. You can I got to inspire it though. Maybe we can inspire it. Or you inspire. can inspire it. Yeah. Okay. Did anybody make it or no? Oh, I I I got a hard success. Yeah. So I just rolled thirty one. That's also hard success. All so, right, so okay. both of you simultaneously find out what that stench of death is as um, pinned to the wall is Madame Lynn, uh, Madame Lynn's long-suffering uh, charged affairs, Mr. Wu. Uh, and there are knives like through his shoulders that basically uh, his broken neck lolls at a horrible angle as he is just pinned up to the wall as another piece of art in this room. And his his corpse is decaying. Tried to get him out. He wouldn't listen. What's uh, all right. Uh, so you so I'm looking around or? So I'm, I'm gonna look around first and see if there's any pieces of any of the stuff that was in here laying about. No, no, it looks like everything, you know, of, of the value of the art was removed and then this place was smashed. All yeah. right, then. Let's look around quickly. Yeah. Quick All right, so you come out in a hallway. Um, the place seems totally silent. You don't hear uh, uh, any noise. Again, not a morning place. Uh, and there are several doors all through the hallway. You know that uh, one of them, We'll lead, we'll lead down to the first floor, which is where the antechamber is and all that stuff. Um, and somewhere there is a, um, there's a, a, a stairway up because there's one more floor. Mm. So up or down. What was on the third floor? Um, oh. I, I don't think we've ever found out. Why don't we find out? Sure. All right. So yeah, you find the stairway and you head up. Um, and the third floor is essentially one big penthouse. Um, it's Madame Lynn's bedchamber, and uh, uh, it's it's very dark. And there's a curtain at the back of the room. Um, I'm gonna pause and listen to see if I if I hear any like gorilla-sized sobbing or snoring. All right, make a listen roll. <laughs> Let's see. So 65, I've also success on listen roll, regular All success. Right. Uh, regular success with a 67. Okay, um, no, you hear nothing. 
Let's All right. I mean, this seems like a possible spot, depending on how valuable she thinks it is. Let's go. Let's take a look. Let's move. All right. So yeah, I'm 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 creeping forward, and it's it's really dark, right? So I'm trying I'm trying to move slowly enough so that I can see what's under my feet, so I don't kick anything or trip anything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll make you an offer. You can either um, be careful or be quiet. So you can either give me a dexterity roll and you avoid everything on the floor, or you can be stealthy and nobody will hear you doing stuff. I'll okay. go for dex. My dex is much better than my stealth. All right. She's being careful. Donald, what are you doing? Dexterity is also the, the operative All term. All right. So you're both being careful. 54. 24 is the is a hard success. Yeah, no problem. You guys manage. It is a little bit of a minefield. Like this room has also, it hasn't been trashed like the bottom room, but it's definitely been, uh, uh, stuff is thrown around and sort of left everywhere. And so you, you both manage to like work your way through uh, um, all of the stuff on the floor. Uh, there are a couple times where you feel like your footfalls are audible or there's like a as you step on uh, a, a floorboard. But yeah, you you make your way across the room and there's, so this curtain is a floor to ceiling black burlap curtain. Almost like a blackout curtain. Huh. I'm gonna very. I'm gonna like look look for an edge and like very carefully pull it aside a little bit with a fingertip. Okay. Yeah. You you find uh, the seam. Uh, it appears to be three curtains. There's a center one and then two side ones. You find a seam and you slowly uh, 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 slide it aside. And um... is Donald Scooby doing over my head? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, Alexander's uh, yeah. tall enough. He can probably pick it up. Alexander's pretty short. Yes. <laughs> So uh, it is very dark inside um, behind blackout curtains. But you don't, you don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. No, I'd like, and, and I'll, I'll just like breathe because I can, I can feel him like hovering sli slightly above me and just breathe out. What should we do? I have to take a look at least. It's probably where she sleeps. Probably. I'll pull the curtain aside just a little bit more so that any ambient light can get in so, so we can see even a, even a little bit. All right, yeah. You see a ridiculously large four-poster bed that takes up most of the space, and there is a non-gorilla-sized figure in the bed. What? <laughs> Who was that? I don't know. Does it smell like death in here? Huh. Not, um, it doesn't smell like decay, no. Let's, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like take a second to look and see if I can spot, because I mean, it's a, it's a two foot statue, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, you don't see it. Okay. Let's go. Withdraw carefully, closing the curtain back the way it was. Okay. Mm. All right downstairs Let's keep we'll keep looking not here all right so there were a couple of rooms on the second floor right so we should probably poke in those a little bit yeah let's get this all right yeah uh, you open so yeah you you're you're checking out and um you open one of them and it's a closet it's a tiny little room and curled up almost in the fetal position on the floor of this is the beaten and battered body of your translator. He's still alive. And when the door opens, he like kind of looks up and his eyes are almost bruised shut. And he's like looking up, trying to like straining against the light. And he says something in Chinese. Let's just close the closet door. Yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna, I'm just like close the closet door, step back, and be like, "Shouldn't have routed us out." All right, yeah, you, uh, you shut the door on him. <laughs> uh, did you, do you say that? Nope. All right, look quietly, close the closet door. Nope. All right, you close the door and uh, continue on. You do not find 
any other people or any other, uh, uh, you do not find the statue. All right, down to the bottom floor, I guess. Let's keep looking. All right, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm actually going to pause at the top of the stairs and listen again to see if I can hear anyone rousing or reacting uh, to anything. All right, make me a make me a listen roll. Let's see what we got. Lots of pausing and listening. Oh, that is an ought nine, which is a critical success. Regular, but she's got it. You hear nothing. Yeah, I I, I, I like pause at at the top of the stairs, hand on the banister, just listening intently, like. I mean, it's actually starting to get weird that this house is so empty and so quiet. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, I'll follow you. All right. All right. And, I'll, and I'll lead the way downstairs. You head down the stairs. Uh, both of you make me luck rolls. Oh, here we go. Eight, uh, success. 40, success. Okay, everything's fine. Um, you, you make it down the stairs and... Um, uh, who, so you both made the luck roll. Who, who, who made it worse? Uh, my luck is 47 and I got 40. So, so you made it by seven. So I, mine's 64. And I got a 48. So, so, all right. So Alexander, make me a spot hidden. Oh. I'm not going to want to make this, but 46, that's a success. All right. Uh, there was a tripwire on the stairway that you both avoided. And you see it like after. After you, we got uh, past it? Yeah. I'm mean, gonna we'll look at it and just, whew, as adrenaline just dumps through my system for a second there. Well. Yeah. Can I tell what kind of a tripwire it is? Is it something that would explode or just something to send someone down on their face? Uh. It I mean, you'd know what, it looks like it's a string that goes somewhere else. So the tripwire extends somewhere else. Could be an okay. alarm, booby trap, let's leave it alone. I'm, I'm wondering what it's booby trapped to that leads somewhere else. What, is, is there a room? Are yeah, they, so, uh, so as you're coming down the stairs, there's a wall. Uh -huh. it, it's, there's like a hole drilled in the wall and that string goes into that wall. So I'm gonna like follow the wall around to to, to find a door and um, like try, listen at the door and then and then like peek inside so like a keyhole or something. All right, make me a listen roll. Seventy made it. All right, uh, you don't hear anything in the room. Okay. And then I and then I want to peek through the the uh, keyhole. Because right. something was set up in there, and I don't want to open the door until I know what's going on. Uh, so there is no keyhole. This is an internal door. <sighs> Damn it! Um, Alarm. It could be. It could be, be nothing. Or it could be something. <sighs> There's no way to open that door. Correct. Well, I mean, we can open the door. There's just no way to look inside first. I'm gonna uh, like touch the, the the doorknob and see if it's locked. If there's any like any resistance, something like shoved up against it or anything. Does not seem so. Okay, I'm gl glance back at Donald. All right, I'll follow you. And I'll very carefully like slowly turn it, turn the, the doorknob and press it open just the tiniest bit, just enough that it clears the door frame so I can peek through. Okay, inside is a large like four or five feet in diameter gong and uh, the string. So the gong is like pulled out like this and the string is tied to the gong so that if the string were trapped, the gong would like smash down and make a lot of noise. Alarm. Oh, a hell of an alarm. Um, I'm going to push the door open just a little bit more so I can get a better view of the room and see if the statue's in here. No, it appears the gong is the only thing in here. All right. Was that item originally in the main room? I, I seem to recall something like yes, that. Yes, the gong was originally. Yeah, because it, it was with the uh, the I Ching thing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I Ching thing. I can words, really. Scrolls and all. Yeah. Let's keep looking. All right. Um, you complete the first floor, and you find a stairway down into a basement, <sighs> like a probably a larder or something like that, but you don't find anything else. Uh, both of you make me luck rolls. Here we go. 21. 
which is a real good success. Yeah. 10 out of out of 47. Yeah, everything's fine. Um, uh, so yeah, you find that stairway down and that's it. All uh, right, I'll take the stairs, just watch for other trip wires. Yeah, seriously. So All yeah, right. we'll- um, There are no trip wires on these stairs. Um, so you come down, there's no door to the stairs and you start to hear something now. You start to hear like moaning. Okay. It's clearly people, and it, it sounds um, it sounds a lot like people in pain. Seems to be a common theme in this house. Right. Yeah, I, I I still have have my dagger out and down by my side and just quietly press forward. Is there any light down here? Nope. Um. Did we pass through a kitchen at any point? I I I I, I might have grabbed like a book of matches or something. Make me a luck roll. Cool. Uh, 29, yes. All right, yeah, you have a small back book of matches. Okay, so when we get down there and I determine that I just cannot see, um, I'm going to pull the book of matches out. I'll All right. Them. I'll, I'll take the matches. I'll, I'll be right. behind you. Well, it won't affect okay. your eyesight. So right. um, you strike the first match, and um, before you is a tableau, uh, this downstairs seems to be almost a uh, a, a cavern. This that is the, it's hewn from rock. Uh, it is the size of the entire house. So this is just one big room, and it's a cage of some sort. And there are uh, it looks like there are people out of the lights range uh, that are moaning and in serious pain. And they do not seem to acknowledge you. Let's keep moving. Maybe take, let's take a closer look at this, but as we we'll keep moving now. So you're going to come up very quickly to essentially a barred wall. Yeah. They are in a cage. And the cage is most of the entire room. Can we go around it at all? No, that it is the, this cage, the cage is not, it's not four cages. It's just a caged wall that is this whole wall. It's like a dungeon down here. <laughs> Wonder how long that's been here. Well, let's uh, take a, um, a match and move a little closer to the bar and see if we, what we see inside. Yeah. All right. Um, so the people are all way at the far end. Like, in, it's clear that when things come down here, they don't like it. They are staying and they are, um, you can barely see them, but they seem. Uh, uh, they seem in bad shape. They look like people, though, right? Nothing strange about them. Yeah, they're this. You don't get a car Siri vibe. You don't get any sort of that's. These seem like people that have uh, have been roughed up. Hmm. Well, is there anywhere else we should be looking? Any other buildings on the the grounds we should be exploring? Not unless there's something in the uh, in in the gorilla's little house. Oh, well, she is a gorilla. <laughs> I can't think of where else. Uh, I'm, I'm like kick it, getting kick at the floor a little bit in frustration. Just where would she have put this thing? Well, she, she cleared out all of her other valuables. Perhaps she's stashed them away in whatever her new location is. Not just this, but everything else. Um, what about these fools here in the cage? What do we do? No, on the one hand, I'd prefer to get them out. On the other, how? It'll raise an alarm. Yes, at a minimum. They'll know that we're here. We're bad for these fool bastards, but there's nothing we should do. We should go. Yeah. As you turn to go, a weak voice says something in Chinese to you, like in a plaintive tone. Just sort of nod solemnly. Again, not coming near you, mm -hmm. staying very far away. Uh, uh, do any of you speak English? English? Food, 
please. Come closer. Who are you? I, I can't. I'm too weak. I, I haven't eaten. She left us down here. How long? Uh, what day is it? I believe it's what, May 7th, May 8th. May 7th. A week? God. Who are you? Are, the, are, are you staff? What are you doing here? She told us to come down here and that we all needed to check down here. And then she locked the door and hasn't come back since. Why? I, I don't know. Where is she? She is probably in Shanghai. She stays at her clubs now. Listen, we let you out. She'll know we were here. I, I don't know who you are. I'm just so hungry. If you can tell us where she is. We're going to die in here. Then give us some information, fella. Where is she? How do we find her? She's at one of her clubs, probably. Where are her belongings? Where did she put all of her valuables? She left this place. Where are they? I'm, I'm going to put a hand on Donald's shoulder and like look around. I want to see if I can spot any keys anywhere. Uh, you do not see any keys. Is there a lock at least? Uh, yeah, there's a lock in the gate. Donald has a, the, the lock picks yeah. in his pocket, but he's not using them yet. Yeah. Listen, where would she put her, her precious belongings? There's something we need. Where would it be? And she took everything with her. Where did the, where is it all? Where did she take it? She took it into town. She said she didn't need to hide in this building anymore. Which which clubs belong to her? If you can give us a list, that would all be all of them. All of them. That's not very helpful. Perhaps you should talk to the other fellows in the cage. Maybe one of them knows. Are, are you not going to help us? If you help us, I'll help you. We're going to die down here. Then just give me an answer. Someone must know where she took her belongings. Ask around. He this starts crying. This guy starts crying. Yeah, my, my, my hand on Donald's shoulder just tightens. My nails digging in a little bit. I'm like, Donald. We need this information. We need to help them. Once we help them, it's too late. What's the point of saving the world if we, if we can't help people? They know where her, there's too much things for her to move. She wouldn't move it. She would have her own people move these things. Her people know where these things are. They might have just put the things into a truck. Then, then that's a clue. Why we do need you something. want her stuff? We just want to go home. We need one item. Tell us where her things are. We'll let you out. It's simple. Why would she? I was, I was a cook in her kitchen. Why would she tell me where anything is? Someone in that cage must know. He um, he will turn and he will say in like halting Chinese, uh, he is lying on the ground. Like the at, now that you can sort of, you're on your third match now and you've sort of gotten used to the low light. Um, there are all the way at the end of this room, like super emaciated, like can't get up. Like, you know, you can see their joints starving people. And some of them are kind of sitting, leaning against the wall. Some of them just are lying there. There are clearly dead people in there. And um, he'll, you know, he says in he says something in Chinese, and a few people will answer back in uh, 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 halting tones. <laughs> Tamago Toro gives the the team 500 bits to do the GDS thing for the innocent people. So I'm guessing he means blow them up. It okay. sounds like. I don't know. But also Stilba gave 500 to Ezra for dot dead body art and then also 500 to the players. So we got more bits. Um, we're, we're cooks and servants. We don't, we don't know anything about Madam's business. 
have you asked someone how to move those items, a lot of items, out of this house? She didn't do it herself. She would never do it herself. None of the guards are down. Do this. Donald, none of the guards are down here. Well, they would be. The, they would be the ones moving the valuable stuff. Let them out, or I'm going to. Fine, fine. <laughs> I'm out. All right. So you, um, you Watch unlock. Uh, you unlock the thing, mm -hmm. and um, are are you? Uh, uh, they will. They start trying to help each other out. Um, many of them can't walk, so the ones that can are like trying to support them. Um, they are all wearing cooks or servants uh, outfits, and um, again, this is like the Walking Dead going past you. This is one of the most awful things you've seen, and you've seen some pretty awful things. Yes. Um, these people uh, were probably hours away from dying. Yeah, I'm, 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 them are dead. I'm going to, uh, she, she's my dagger and, and go in and help like get people up moving very carefully. Cause I know how fragile bodies can be at this stage. Mm -hmm. up the stairs, that'll be the hardest part for them. Uh, when you go into the cage, you clearly see, uh, close to there, a little handwritten note. Is it in English or Chinese? Uh, it's, folded over you can't see it i'll crouch down and pick it up all right yeah it's in english um and uh uh it says i knew you couldn't resist helping them why won't emma love me and that's like that last one is all in capital letters and like each one why period won't period just why? <laughs> and I'm, and I'm going to just shake my head and murmur because you can do things like this and slip it into my pocket. All right. And, and then go over and start like helping people up, helping them to the door. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So you, you start head, you're getting people out. Um, and uh, at a certain point, uh, you have, you're starting to get the last few out. It is slow going up the stairway for these folks. Um, and the wooden stairway, uh, when, when you're helping people up, it starts to buckle. Like the stairway wasn't made to handle the weight of more than three people. Let's just be careful getting up there. And I'm, um... Alex here, tie the rope up at the top at least in case this thing collapses. All right, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll be up at the top and uh, so, and secure the rope. Okay. Toss it down the length of the stairs just in case. Secure to the bottom. All right. Um, so uh, when they get up to the top, most of these people are sitting down, and um, they uh uh they are um they're they're essentially like sitting there waiting. Uh, like trying to figure out what's next. Like, what so, are they going to do? Go in the kitchen, get some water, get some food first, fellas. Then that's for you. We weren't here. We didn't release you. You've never seen us before. So you are faced, Alexandra, with the absurd tableau of Donald kneeling down to this starving, barely functional man saying, go make yourself some food, buddy. And, and Alexandra, and Alexandra, Alexandra just going to sigh and go and find her way back to the kitchen and, and uh, try to find anything that isn't spoiled. Uh, you find, yeah, you find uh, some fruit that is okay. Uh, and, um, you know, anything else you'd have to cook. Okay. Uh, there isn't any bread or anything like that? There's no bread. Uh, they use rice, not bread. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, I'll I'll load up a tray with as much stuff as I can find that's any good and carry it back, uh, along with like a pitcher of water. Then they need the water for sure. Yeah, they they uh, so there is a they all just like dive in and start devouring it in a like carefully you know, eat 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 carefully. If you eat too much too fast, you'll throw it back up and you'll be worse off. Um, no, actually, they'll rupture their stomachs and then die. That too. Uh, luckily, it seems like, yeah, it seems like there's enough of them and not quite enough food to not have that be a problem. Um, 
so um they are are you are you they're like eating now and trying to like function yeah now 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 that they are at least up the stairs i think that that i feel well enough to leave yes we can apart. Let's, let's leave this it's not here it's not okay. here. It's, it's at one of the clubs we don't know which one great all right um do who was upstairs oh you had to ask that question yes i did because these people were servants cooks we saw what happened to mr wu we saw our translator was Who's that the person up? in the bed alive that's my question yes i wouldn't be surprised if it's someone that looked like emma to be honest oh gods but however it is someone else we can ask the question of where these things might be. If they're alive. Let's do this. Let's go uh, upstairs quickly. Yeah, and, I'll, and, and, and I'll go up and carefully step over the trip wire and keeping an eye out for any others. Okay. Back yeah, you, you make your way up and you're once again at the curtain. W would you, would you uh, hold a light for me? All right. Hold a match carefully. Just behind us. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so you step hold, hold in it. and you mm -hmm. strike a match, um, and the figure in the bed does not move. Okay. Is she breathing? Uh, you do not see breathing, although it's dark. There's, you know, and it's a huge bed. Who could tell? Also, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get closer carefully, dagger, dagger back in my hand. Uh, I'm going to let's rotate. I'll go to the other side of the bed. So opposite sides of the bed. Okay. okay. Uh, which one of you is on the figure side? Is, uh, which which side is is it in? Is it in the center or is it right or left? It's on the left side. I'll go right side. I'll be okay. on the left then. All right. So um, you come up and um, oh dear, there's a kitten. Hi Lucy. Uh, uh, Hi Lucy. You come up and uh, you. Um, It's clear to you that whoever is on this bed has had their neck broken because the legs are facing, you know, out towards the bed and the head is facing in towards the bed. Okay. I'm I'm going to get closer and like lean so I can see the face. The match up so she can get a better look. All right, so you you bring a match across the bed uh and it is a mannequin with a wig that makes it kind of look like Emma and uh, with like ch almost childish makeup on it. No, you did bring that note here. Would you want to leave that here perhaps? We knew we'd come here, it seems likely. That said, do we want to leave it when the thing that we are looking for isn't here? Yeah, true. Honestly, yes. Does the note mention taking anything? Did it? This was... I mean, I, I didn't read it. Because yeah. Emma handed it to me sealed. No, it doesn't. OK. Maybe we leave it for her here with so the doll. You drop the note on the bed, and you hear Madame Lynn's voice. Uh, it seems like coming through the mannequin. Is this working? You said this would, hello? I know you're there. Who's there? I'll, 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 I'll like lean and blow out the match just in case she's able to see it. I know you're there. And, and like as Not quietly as possible. You said this stupid magic stuff would work. Just back away. Back, Just back away. But I'm listening intently because I don't know who she's talking to who knows magic. You said this would... W Hello? I can't hear anything. Uh, both of you make me stealth rolls. Not good. Yeah, regular success. 60, fail. All right, so... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's do that. <laughs> And the inspiration just jumps yeah. off the table. Okay, second. 
Excellent, excellent. 42, barely made it. All right, yeah. No, I can't, what? You said this would work. Slowly open the curtain and let's just slip yeah, right out. Can, yeah, so, I'm, I'm actually gonna, gonna hesitate like right at the curtain and listen for a minute to see if she identifies who she's talking to or perhaps kills them. Uh, neither one of those become clear. Um, um, you hear her say, uh, you said it would activate if anyone came close to the bed. So did someone come close to the bed? Uh, you was... and you yeah she's just fuming okay. like uh, like a part of me is petty and, and wants to say something but also there's a lot of people downstairs that that will be in the crossfire if we do something so this yeah i'm right yeah i'm gonna put and put a hand on donald's forearm and just like out right. carefully, yeah, you guys quietly. you guys disappear so are you going back to the truck what are you gonna let's go back to the Definitely. truck yeah. all right so yeah you make it back to the truck again there's uh, nobody in here. Um, the um, the the sad emaciated staff are starting to try to figure out like how to get out of here and where to go and, and you know. yeah, I'll 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 leave doors open as as we go because I mean I imagine they know the house they've yeah. they've worked here a significant amount of time. Did, did we pass the bathrooms at any point like where Flint was taking baths? Yeah, that was on the second floor. Okay. And there was no sign of the statue there because that's where I would put it if I were petty oh. and her. Nope. Better times. Much better times. <laughs> I was human. <laughs> and then you were a gorilla taking baths. Uh, less better times, but still better times. <laughs> so yeah, come 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 back out along along the side, you know, get and get back over same way as before and just hoof it for the truck. Back to the truck. Yeah. You get back. Um, there is a noted lack. There is a notable lack of two foot tall jade statues as they return. Oh, no Let's luck. Go. No Let's luck. Go. You guys were gone forever. We searched the entire house. It's not there. And most of the belongings that you have, the precious belongings, everything's been cleared out. She's taken over oh. there. Apparently, everything got taken to her clubs. Oh, dang. We know, where one, we know where one of them is. She may have taken it there because it was the last place that she saw Emma. So are we not doing the ritual today? Well, we were planning, to, well, we, we weren't going to do this ritual today anyway. This Egypt, we have the other ritual to do. Are we getting, yeah, are we getting to Cairo to fuse the stones and spill uh, blood? The, the sun, um, we're ahead of Cairo right now, but I don't know how many hours, maybe six mm -hmm. hours, perhaps more. We are almost out of time, I think. Yeah, I think we need to go. No, but what, I mean, what's the time difference between here and, and, and Cairo? Uh, you can make me an intelligence roll. Let's see. I'll, I'll do that too. Uh, I, I failed it. I I was say, we're all here, we're all here, so. Yeah, may I? Uh, critical success. Six oh, hours. I made an success, okay. So if it's 10 a.m. in Shanghai, it's four in the morning in Cairo. Oh, perfect. We have more time than I yeah, have. Time. Do we know how long it's going to take to fuse those, uh, fuse the, the rocks that you have? Well, if we do it the, the, the Japanese way with molten gold, it shouldn't take long. Just let it. Do let's, we have molten gold? Let's get out of here. Let's go back to the, um, let's, let's go. The place, Washington, DC, though, right? We, I went last time with you, doctor. All right. Um, I'm guessing we can find a payphone pretty close to uh, where I rented the truck from, so I can drop it off. Yeah, sure. You find you find that. You're so responsible. <laughs> yeah, we're because we're civilized. Damn it. That's that's Nick's character, just kind of in yeah. a nutshell. They always want to return the the rented stuff. And uh, as we're going, I'll say quietly to Emma, "I delivered the letter. She had one for us. Delivered in one of the most horrifying thing ways I've ever seen." What, what type of God? I don't even want to know. I do want to know, but I don't want to know. What did she do and what did it say? So I'll, I'll, I'll pull the, the folded note out and say, mm -hmm. in her basement, there was a dungeon of some variety. That's the only word that I can find to describe it. It was a wall of bars and there were people inside and they've been there for about a week or so. Um, and they they were the ones who told us that she cleared out all of the things in the house and took them 
somewhere, probably to our clubs. They couldn't tell mm -hmm. us where. And when we got the door open to help them out, this was inside. And I'll, and I'll hand Emma the note. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll literally, I don't know what it said, but I'll literally reiterate kind of what Alexandra said, because you do shit like this, lady. <laughs> I, I, I think it was, I knew you couldn't resist helping them. Why won't Emma love me? Or something very similar yeah, to that. And I'll be like, because you do things like this. Yeah. And, and, I, and I just like just, laugh and say, that's exactly right. what I said. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> throw it out the truck. Just throw it on the ground and just be like, yeah, all right. It's, yeah, it's gone. Uh, okay. So um, you call, you call Rogers up and um, yeah, a door will appear uh, to DC. Let's all go inside. Yep. Mm -hmm. like all that. right. And so you you are now in DC. Um, some of you, for the first time, are catching a glimpse of the portal machine that is uh, a, a some sort of wheelchair apparatus with Kafur and Yusef sitting back to back with like electrodes and pipes and wires, and they both are um, semi-conscious at best. Uh, and they both, um, they both look like they've aged a great deal. Goodness. Do they look emaciated? Like, are they getting fed? Seems like they're getting fed. Yeah. It's okay. just, uh, uh, they're, you know, like their bodies are under all sorts of strain. Mm -hmm. Yep. I turn to Rogers and be like, are you, do you let them out of this contraption or? I, uh, oh, Ro actually Rogers is not yeah. there. There's okay. just some poor tech guy who is there um, and he he looks at Dr. Hollister and he says, uh, um, is this a double hop? Well, it depends. Uh, did Has Rogers made the provisions for Cairo? Uh, to the, uh, as I understand it, to the extent he could. Now that's promising. Well, then I suppose we should go through with it. Where is Rogers anyway? Uh, uh, Commander Rogers is uh, he's at a meeting with the uh, with the War Department. Oh, I will I will leave him a note with the sketch of the Jade statue. All right, uh, Doctor. Why don't we just wait for him and speak to him before we hop again? So we, are, we, need to get there. we don't have time. We're running out of time. Yeah, we, we have no idea how long even with a six hour jump, we still can't and afford remember it. we have to potentially clear out the area of any uh, our, our, I, I turn back to the tech uh, the armory, do we have flamethrowers? Oh god. <laughs> and Emma is just like over there have grinning her flamethrowers. Make a grenade, Dr. Hollister. I want grenades. Roll for grenades. I made that luck roll. Yeah. I um, will not ask for grenades. Uh, yeah, uh, we have a couple of, of uh, flamethrowers. I bet those are good at clearing out evil. Can any of you use a flamethrower? I Not to save my life? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, <Volunteers. laughs> yeah, Emma's got flamethrowers. No volunteers. <laughs> As she... Yeah, no, I don't think we know how to use it, but we have a volunteer. Uh, Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure these Ooh. things are manuals. I rolled for grenades. I made it. Thank you, Libra Sarcana. <laughs> sure. Yeah. They will. I got uh, grenades no, and no, a to her dossier. She does not get grenades. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the guy will. Oh, it's th that. That's Emma. That's Emma. <laughs> oh. Uh, Emma. I'm sorry, ma'am. We have no grenades. What? How about a bicycle? Uh, I'm afraid I'm not supposed to give you a bicycle either. Apparently, uh, the last two we gave you did not return. I suppose you wouldn't have camels here either. Uh, the only camel we have is in the experimentation wing. Nope, oh, you do that's not okay. See that. No. Let's go stock up on some equipment before we jump back through this portal, huh? Sure. All right. So um, there are, yeah, there are two flamethrowers, which are terrifying. They are- I get one. And they a are flame like 55 gallon drums of petroleum attached to your back with a um <laughs> with a a a gun of sorts that is essentially a pilot light and expectorant that show shoots out 
more and grab the one end. I grab one end and just and like look at the the fifty five gallon tank and go, I miss Silvano. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Flint. Flint could carry that thing, no problem. I just want to get more ammunition. Oh yeah, that would count as suicide up. too if it went off. He would be. <laughs> He'd be fine. <laughs> Gorilla There's a way to get rid of all that hair. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I disappointed. Uh, <laughs> More importantly, there is a manual for that flamethrower, right? Oh yes, there's a there's a training manual that has like tabs, uh, acronyms. I'm like pumping the gasoline thing and being like, the trigger's right here, right? <laughs> I'm going to stay well away from that and look yeah, for anything yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, I, I, I've got my trusty weapon, so I'm I'm good. There's a fine collection of uh, of rifles and pistols. You know, you can if you yeah. need to stock up. I'll, I'll kind of up, upgrade what I've got right now. Sure, it's a little better. I have been blessed enough to not have to use what I already have with me, so I'm good. And I hand Emma that instruction manual. <laughs> he hands you a binder with like <laughs> 200 sheets of paper in it. Trust me. It, yeah. You're wearing the suicide backpack. Read this. <laughs> okay. And then I think to myself, this is gonna be great kindling. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll I'll grab a, a 38 uh, revolver and and some bullets for it. Is there any if I were able to find a hunting knife, would I be able to hide that about my person? Hunting knives are very hard to hide. Mm. Mm. We'll hide that. We're not going somewhere where you need to hide it. I mean, would, Cairo. Would they I thought we were going gold? straight to the pyramid. I, yeah. We're going to like straight to the pyramid. Yeah, we, there. Yeah. In Cairo, you have um, the guy asks for the coordinates of where you're going. I'm sure someone knows the coordinates of the yeah. bent pyramid. I would have or, that in the notes, wouldn't I? Or relatively close. Like we know the town that the, we took the camels out to. Yeah, yeah, you can you can definitely get to the town. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, because, well, the thing is, is we wouldn't want to get there and not be able to call back and have no camels. Correct. Uh, mm -hmm. so. No, so we need also, to go to town and get stuff there. Well, we can also go home. And that's one of the reasons time is of the essence. Why? Because we have to take camels from oh. the town to the pyramid. Well, oh, I thought you were asking about my request for alcohol. <laughs> that's why time is of the oh, essence. I did not even hear but that. Where? Yeah, where are the things that he, that, that they were supposed to give us to take out there, or are we going to meet people out there? There should we should meet people out there. Rogers should have made arrangements according okay. to. You can wait for Rogers to finish his meeting. After you uh, is there something not on your requisition form? More cash. Are you going to tell him about the blood of the innocent? Is that on somewhere on this list? <laughs> oh, no, that 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 is the thing on the list. Yeah, I think the whole list. And a drum. Uh, oh, gold. A drum. drum. We had the pot in the pan, drum kind yeah. of thing. A drum. Uh, so the only thing that I see on the requisition list that is waiting for you uh, in the village is um, a large kettle drum. Ah, okay, great. Whoa. No, it needs to be Sorry fresh. I specified fresh. Kettle drum. Kettle drum. Kettle drum. Kettle drum. It's a drum. No, it's a big I, drum. I sent Rogers a requisition for, for having uh, some form of blood. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid, sir, that we don't have blood. Do you have uh, innocent people written down on that list? What the hell does that mean? Okay, we're going you know, we're, we're to have to break and we're going to have to wait for Rogers to come out of his meeting. Um, Where is his meeting? No. War Department. Yeah. No, no the so guy, yeah, the guy, well, that's all. <laughs> what, not what, in his building, is it? <laughs> what time is it here? Uh, oh God! It is the. It should be yesterday. Yeah, it's yesterday, kind of almost evening. Almost evening. Uh, God, I'm gonna go. I mean, I think I have some. Um, I, I should be able to get some cash fairly easily. Go to a pawn shop and grab some gold coins or something. I was gonna ask if they had gold bars here. I no. We, we, we have some gold if you need it. I don't know what you would need it for. It's quite heavy. Yes, we do need some gold. Um, and, we, and well, we also need a way to melt it. We may want to do that here. Because... Emma's got a flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Not, not just no, but hell no. <laughs> Think for a trial run. 
Some engineers <laughs> you, you can adjust the nozzle and basically use it. I mean, no, just with the little- uh, It'd be a good practice. A little Bunsen burner. It's, yeah. it's not a blender. There aren't settings. <laughs> Fricassee. <laughs> Melt toasted. thing. Grilled cheese. Kill people. <laughs> Blow up town. <laughs> And then Emma. <laughs> Emma, yeah. Emma's, the, uh, Emma's 11. <laughs> yeah, Emma is blow up the universe. Uh, I think on uh, 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 no. <laughs> the top setting is Emma. I think we're going to go to break. So uh, we will be back. Just to, uh, First of all, we're giving away those Libra Sarcana dice. <laughs> Sec first of all, we need Thomas. Second of all, we're giving away those Libra Sarcana dice. So hashtag chaos to be entered into- Wait, 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 everybody wait one second. Thomas is giving me the hold on. I haven't put the words in the in the oh. thing. Ah, set it up. Hi, uh, hold on. Oh, so how's everybody doing? Everything's fine. Doing, doing all right. Good, all right. How are you? <laughs> um, really everything, it will be at a certain point, hashtag chaos in the chat. I've been told- Okay, he's ready, wait, uh, he's ready. Yes, I've been told, I'm, I'm hearing now, <laughs> that uh, it is hashtag chaos in the chat to win those Libras Arcana dice that Amy has rolled exactly once. Yeah, and exactly. It they well. me. Yeah, it rolled well, but they still, I was still denied <laughs> grenades. <laughs> they, they didn't roll well enough to, unfortunately, Uncle Sa uh, you, Dr. Hollister was on to you. Uh, we will be back just as soon as six people can use six bathrooms. Six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, six. <laughs> there, I'm doing it.
And that's why you always leave a note. Hmm. Welcome back. We are excited to say that our buddy Seth in GC five, five seven? seven four 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 five seven. Is that like a Star Trek ship? I, that's what I thought. Yeah, I, but um, I believe it's actually a a stellar uh, uh, designation. I think he exp I think he reminded. He told me what it was once, and like the horrible person I am. I said, huh, that's interesting. And then immediately forgot it. Honestly, the only reason that I remember it at all is that 457 was the first three numbers of my house number when I was a kid. Mm. So if you want which to order read, pizzas. Which doesn't uh, say anything was, because in Fairbanks, Alaska, a lot of the numbers are 457. Is it your oh. password now? Nope. <laughs> oh, it is. I use, I use other numbers for my password. Uh, so uh, congratulations, Seth. Um, let us know in the chat whether you want Amy to actually roll the dice or not. Too late. <laughs> uh, Any more. Any more. Um, I've been told, actually, this is really appropriate. Seth being our, oh gosh, I, I hope I can say amateur astronomer. I don't know if he's a professional, but uh, uh, the dice this month that Libra Sarkana has are called the Perseids. And they have a, like a, a, a stellar motif. So it, it, uh, it works out perfectly. Uh, yeah, that's stellar. Haha, -ha, I see what you did there. It was in the stars. You're too far away from me to throw something at you. <laughs> uh, I would like it to take a minute to upgrade every single person in the chat who was involved in that flamethrower discussion. It's uh, not what we're about, people. Go play World War II LARPs. <laughs> you meant that in the best possible way, right? Yeah. <sighs> I mean. <laughs> uh, actually, so I ran a game at Dundracon one year that was a World War II game, and I will never run a World War II game again because there were two randos at the table. There were two people who were like, this is awesome. Let's tell a story. And then there was one guy who's like, I don't think a Sherman tank could uh, do that. And, uh, in uh, uh, That rifle caliber is not. And I was like, you know what? There also aren't things with wings trying to carve the tank open. Versimilitude is not what Call of Cthulhu is about. Well, and, and, and as Nick pointed out very accurately, the, the universe where all of that was true, where all of the things that you expect to happen have happened, that was the universe that Emma destroyed. Yeah. In this it's universe, world where uh... who knows? Besides, everyone knows flamethrowers come from Atlantis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of fire down there. <laughs> they have to stay warm somehow. It's, it's all thermal. It's all there thermal. It is. It's all thermals. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you are uh, uh, you're waiting for Rogers to return, um, and uh, right. he will. Um, yeah, he'll get back, and he's 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 like ah, Doctor Hollister, and he looks at Donald and he says, uh, "How's the patient?" Uh, I'm the I'm the patient. I'm I'm fine. I'm fine if it didn't work. But I'm still fine. It didn't work. The, uh, no, the the surgery the, the surgery was successful, but the goals we were trying to achieve with the surgery were not successful. The infection's back. I mean, successful, I suppose. I didn't die in the surgery. Mm. Um, it's still there. I see. All right. Well. Um, I have something. I'm, I'm glad that you're all here. Uh, do you have that capstone that you need put back together? We're there. If you don't mind. There's the capstone. We'd like to test something out. Oh my God, Emma broke it again. It's already broken. I'm like, ah, aha, put it right side up. Uh, uh, right here. I think, I think this could, this could really help. Um, you're welcome to observe if you want. Um, it could be uh, a little troubling for some of you, but. What does that mean? Well, do you want, I can just say it if you want. Say I don't have yeah. a problem with it. I mean, say I thought it. it was just gold that you. No, no, there's a ritual to put this back together. And we require a great deal of what we're calling arcane energy. And you happen to have taken care of a great source of arcane energy. And you also found a way to 
in a way, bring people back from the dead. So we have uh, we've harnessed the arcane energy of Edward Gavigan. What? what? What does that mean? You have the papers on this. It's pretty clear. We have re we have made a zombie out of Edward Gavigan, and we use him as a battery for arcane energy. Look, you people hmm. were complaining about what we did to those two civilians. No, it's 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 fascinating. I just personally have an aversion to zombies. But I mean, Gavigan was horrible in life. Maybe he can be useful in death. I just would love to see the research on this. We can uh, we can get that to you. But um, uh, so this would be a fabulous test Ooh. of Project Britain. I want to take a look at this and see what you've done. All right. Uh, so you um, you're brought into a a pretty nondescript conference room. And lying on a, on a gurney is the very bullet-ridden uh, corpse of Edward Gavigan, who uh, is clearly dead, but is also clearly hooked up to a machine that looks similar to the portal machine that uh, they are involved in. Now, um, as you come in, Rogers is there, and he goes over and he talks to a tech for a minute. And he says, now, obviously, Gavigan can't actually perform any magic like this. So we have a practitioner. Uh, and uh, it, it is, uh, this is all very theoretical. This is really a test of this. So um, if you don't mind, put the capstone there on that table. And the tech um, pulls out a musty, like, ancient tome and starts like flipping through pages and he, he looks up a little and then um, they attach somehow, uh, it looks like a blood transfusion almost. Uh, they connect him to Gavigan. The tech, they connect the tech to Gavigan. They connect the tech to Gavigan uh, and, um, and, the Ga and uh, Gavigan, uh, the body of Gavigan like, tenses and the text starts to read out of the manual and he starts to like uh, uh, go on and on uh, about this and um, everybody make me a spot hidden roll. Goodbye guys. Uh, no, too, too distracted by this process to... Yeah. What the hell number is this? Well, a D20, yeah, I was going to say, hang on, a D20 doesn't work. I can't roll an 11 and a 9. Um, yeah. Right, so anybody who made it, um, it's clear that this room has two-way glass. So there is somebody watching what's going on in here. Rogers is in here with you, um, and the tech, like, starts to falter. And uh, Alexandra and Emma you hear a familiar voice come over a loudspeaker from the next room. Uh, distinctly, you hear uh, Professor Aldridge say, uh, no, you didn't say that right. Go back two paragraphs and, uh, and say it properly. I like reach over and grab at Emma's shoulder, just like, like oh my God, a voice from the grave. Yeah. I'm like, notice... and of course you would. Of course you would say that. <laughs> um, do I notice them I... getting weirded out or anything? What now? Do I notice them getting weirded out or anything? Oh, yeah, it's pretty clear. Yeah. Um, Alexandra reacts very strongly. Oh wow! And uh, uh, and it um, the text starts again and messes it up again. And the door opens, and in walks Professor Aldridge, uh, looking exactly as some of you remember her. Uh, she walks right up to the tech, and she just looks at him and pulls the needle out of his arm and sticks it in her own. Yeah. That's a strong reaction to needles. <laughs> and uh, 
Um, and then to sort of almost under her breath, um, she says, she was right about blood magic. And she starts to read, uh, she starts to read the thing and, and in the, the seam between the two, you, you placed it on the table and it's about a quarter inch apart. Uh, and as she is chanting, the seam starts to glow green between the two. And as you are watching, the stone lifts up and comes together and there is a, and it is seamlessly connected. And as soon as she stops speaking, the Gavigan corpse uh, 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 flops back down and she pulls the thing out and she says, and she looks at the tech and she says, you've got to make sure that you know how to pronounce six consonants in a row. And she walks out. Oh, that was cool. I want to look at that book. Do you know, do you know her? Peter. We did. I want to read up on how they're preserving the body where they can transfuse the blood. But, uh, so who was that? We'll tell you when well, we used We'll yeah, tell you someone we used to know. I want to see that book. <laughs> <laughs> Jonan just laser focused. Yeah. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> uh, uh, the tech uh, it has collected the book back up and he's starting to like get Gavigan together to like roll him out. Uh, mm -hmm. Rogers, to your question, Hollister, Rogers say, um, we found that the, uh, uh, the process that we were able to go through uh, with Gavigan, uh, there's no, he has no brain function at all, but uh, everything else in his body seems to be functioning fairly normally. Hmm. And we're still, it's still highly theoretical, but there's some connection between arcane energy and, and blood, and we're not sure uh, what that is. So he's still alive? Doesn't look like it. He's functioning as a battery. I, I think that's right. He's functioning as a battery. You dug him up, eh? Patched him up. He was never buried. I thought we had buried him. Oh, you're right. You did. Damn it. Uh, yes, we found the body uh, in the process of destroying that location. We... Mm -hmm. Uh, we were able to ascertain that he was an incredibly powerful practitioner. And we've had some men working on the theory of this. It was based on something I heard you all talk about with those staves that could take energy out of people. Yeah, yeah. We're, you know, we're working on the idea uh, of uh, arcane practitioners being something like a capacitor. <laughs> Like those two fellows out there with the door. Yes. Um, if, you know, if this idea can work out, then we can repurpose people like Gavigan and not have to uh, use people like uh, Dr. Kafour. So I've, I've, we found this gentleman named Stanford, which might actually be a Excellent substitute. Prime candidate. Yes. Yeah. If we can, if we can kill so, him. Yeah. Well, do we have to kill him? him? I mean, or he, capture him. He knows who Stanford is. He already knows. We're well aware of Carl Stanford. He's um, he's been running. He before he got involved with uh, this group, he was involved with a uh, a cult, uh, small time really. The Knights of the Silver Twilight. They were. Uh, they were doing some recruiting on the East Coast, trying to bring in uh, people. When, when his scheme started to fall apart, Stanford had disappeared for a while, and he turned back up in Shanghai. Hmm. So now we just have to solve the blood problem. Yeah. Oh, the blood. Oh, the innocent blood. Yeah. So we have not been able to manufacture anything synthetic and refrigeration is the real issue well we can't have the blood has to be fresh well that's a further 
what does innocent really mean though for this ritual? Do we have any expertise? Is this a religious term or something more fundamental? Oh, that's an interesting question. I um, let's uh, uh, let's get some people working on that. Um, where can I send you a tell? Uh, are you gonna? Are you in town for long? We no, were, we're here. We were thinking about taking a gate directly to Egypt to try to perform the ritual to cap the stone tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, tomorrow, uh, no, no, tomorrow night in, in this time, but in I should Cairo. tell you that we are, um, we're trying to limit the double hops as they seem to be especially stressful on uh, our current batteries. That's fine. When's a good time for us to leave? Well, well we're not going to make it important. You need to leave sooner yeah. rather than later, but, but research uh, on things like the um, the arcane meaning of the term innocent, that's going to take some time. So, so if we can't make it tonight, then we should forego the hop entirely and take conventional means to Egypt. Back on a boat, huh? That's no, a long trip. Oh, but then, so but then we should. What actually we should do is is look for more pieces of things. So maybe we can do more. Well, I, I left the notes to construct the jade statue of the bloated woman. Assuming we can't find it in Shanghai, which... Yeah. I think is a yeah. healthy and safe assumption. I think we could find it if we, if we spent the time tossing her clubs, but that's a dangerous endeavor. It's very dangerous. You just yeah. ask her for it. <laughs> You know what she would ask for, right? It would be Emma for the statue. And she imprisons her staff in the basement. Like a crazy... I'm like trying to think of like a crazy torture lady. Who would that be? <laughs> Madam Lynn. Madam yeah. Lynn. Yeah, yeah, it's just like a Madam Lynn. Yep, classic Madam Lynn. Our intelligence tells us that she pretty much runs Shanghai now. Shocking no one. And that she's a gorilla. Yes. Yep. Both right. correct. And she's not hiding it. Also correct. That's concerning. Uh, we're we're trying we're we're trying to not let that news get out around here. Uh, we don't want to. We don't want people to start thinking about crazy things like that. Like what? Like. Like people being gorillas. Why don't you just make one of your people be a gorilla? We can do that. You Roger, just have to kill her. No, Rogers knows that already. Yeah. That right. was already explained in the past. Sorry, I've got a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, killing her. Busy is, with the speed <laughs> uh, Killing her is. <clears throat> that's a tough proposition. I literally roll my eyes like you have Yusuf and Dr. Kafour in some torture thing. You dug up dead zombie Penhu and you have a problem killing a megalomaniac in Shanghai who's also a gorilla. That is not a torture device. You misunderstand. It's not a, it's not a difficult proposition morally. It's a difficult proposition financially and physically. The United States of America is not, we would essentially, she controls the entire police force of Shanghai, and uh, she is centralizing power with the new, the new China front has been shattered. And so she is centralizing power. Our current theory is that she's making a deal with the Japanese. Oh no. Oh. We should stop that. Yeah. Don't we have our own gorilla with the Japanese right now? And I yes. bet you that's you what you want. There's a gorilla? Well, they have Flint went to Japan. You remember uh, that? You saw, you, you saw Flint. He was yeah, a gorilla? Did he, no. Wait, did Rogers meet you as a gorilla? Oh yeah, Rogers contemplated killing him to become a gorilla. Right. Yeah, That's it was very clearly written across his eyes. Yeah, all right. Uh, Thorncastle went over to the Japanese? Well, he didn't go over. He's just, I don't know what Thorncastle does half the time. Well, he was... Trying your to figure out. Proposed something that your second half didn't finish. 
Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly amazed by how much you're you're forgetting. You got angry at us for him for him going and thus losing a Delta Green operative. This is another clone of Rogers. And, and, and Alexander's just watching. Yeah. Him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm very bit. Look, I'm very busy. It may surprise you. You're not my only team. Thornicast is going to try to get Japanese cooperation, so he says, and hopefully it'll be successful and we'll have, we'll have their assistance. I see. Well, all right. Uh, look, I'm, ex the, I'm ecstatic. The Gavigan test was perfect. Uh, it went well. And you've got your capstone. You just need to find innocent blood in Egypt. Egypt of all places. Or apparently, wait a month. Hmm. We still need innocent blood. No matter yeah, what. I was about to say innocent blood this month or innocent blood that month is not Don't still a problem. Tomorrow. I mean, you could you could just pay volunteers. If you if you have enough people, you don't need that much. That's true. And th I think that will probably be our best option to get as many people as we can and pay them. Just reasonably. offer a hundred, just offer a hundred villagers, 10 bucks. I think the screening process is more the issue right now. So we do need to figure out what innocent means. That's the thing. Um, could there be some kind of a re religious acolytes or, or, Seminary students, or something to that effect. Oh, that would Not be interesting. Perhaps. Well, we did talk about you know children and things like that, uh, and it, then we and then we stopped talking about children and things like that. Yeah, that's a little too uncomfortable for even me. Yeah, I think I think children is a hard pass. I mean, yeah, maybe the seminary. Um, what about those? Uh, what about those guys you met in Cairo, the Knights of uh, I was whoever? About that. Yes, the Islamic fellows at the, the, uh, the mosque. I mm. mean, I, I suppose it depends on how many of their people they could rally to do it and whether or not they would be welcome, uh, whether or not they would be willing to after the sort of Akhmala incident. Yes. Oh. Hey, where is the sort of Akhmala? <laughs> uh... <laughs> That's going to be a fun conversation in Cairo. I've got a box like. You mean you know, the sword I, of Metacris? <laughs> I'm looking at my current sword. Like, how do I disguise this as like the sword of Akmala now? <laughs> we could probably get it engraved and just do the same thing again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all the sword of Akmala was. Sure. Elder signs, all we need. Yep. Um, you know, that's a great idea. If we are stuck here for like a month, we should definitely elder sign my sword. I'd be up for that. Uh, Rogers would love to know about the elder sign. Uh, you never, he never got a chance to use the, or get to know the elder sign uh, ritual. That That's the kind of thing that he would love to mass produce. Hmm. It'd be really useful, honestly, yeah. to have. Yes, it would. Yes, mass it would. produce those things. What do we call it? I'd, I'd have to, I'd have to uh, search it a little bit more because other people were more grounded in that than I was. I was more of a helper on that well, one. Well, so but, but you have it. you have Silvano's notes. I know. I said I'm gonna have to take a look yeah. and and that was it would just be a matter of time. Yes. Yeah. There's there's that woman though that you just saw the, uh, the 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 mage woman who was just here. Certainly she knows something about that. So that's a good question. Who of you who remember Professor Aldridge remember an, an aspiring sorcerer who did not seem to have any ability uh, and was somewhat mm. frustrated by that. Yes, frustrated is a good word. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 Alexandra's gonna just like look down and away to the side, just. But yeah, no, that's a good question. Maybe we could get her to help. It seems she, like- um, She seemed, I mean, she I was able to put the stone together. Maybe she could tell us. And then if we find anything else broken, we can put it together. I mean, I, I guess that depends on whether um, the same idea of hooking Gavigan into 
a caster for lack of a better term is going to work for something like an elder sign like it did for putting that thing back together yeah. i don't see any reason why it wouldn't but that is a question yeah it would be an interesting test of the and it would also uh we've had some questions about whether or not uh for lack of a better word whether or not arcane energy was uh tainted by the individual and it would be an interesting test to see if we could use Gavigan's power to create protective items again well, I, 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 I genuinely hope that we can because that's what that thing is and I'll, I'll point over at the capstone <laughs> yeah that would be cool that worth a shot well alright then uh, are you headed to uh, Egypt then I don't know. Like we don't have the time today, so we shouldn't do a jump. And hang out there for a month. Yeah. Uh, well, right it'll there. take a while to arrive. Uh, you should know that the situation in Egypt is, uh, as always, from places that you've left, somewhat unstable. Uh, there was an attempt by a... Uh, by a, a, uh, an expeditionary force to take over Cairo that the uh, Mr. Thorncastle and Mr. Concanon and some compatriots uh, mostly thwarted. Uh, however, the, um, the army of the Black Pharaoh has, uh, there's a rebellion going on in Egypt right now. And the, the army of the Black Pharaoh who uh, style them who frame themselves as freedom fighters are currently uh, fighting to take over the country. Oof. No, we can't be there for very long. We're going to have to jump in and jump out, guys. I agree. Right. Honestly, our best option, if we're not going to make it this time, is to stay here for a week, maybe a week and a half work on on some of the things like the elder signs maybe yeah. let people have a look at silvano's notes um try to harness some of this stuff get ourselves properly prepared because that's one thing that we consistently met mess up on is preparation and we've been thrown into a lot of difficult situations we don't need to be in cairo do we i don't think so except what? for what I mean, unless the unless the uh, the the knights of Ahmala are who you're going to get your innocent blood from, then we have to go there. But we have some time. If we're not if we're if we're not going to try to hit today's full moon, we have time. Yes. To mm -hmm. uh, recruit people, we have time to figure out all this stuff. Uh, let's see who would make this role. I, I think Alexandra, you're the main one to make this role. Make me a let's call it an education role. Education, sure. What would what could I roll for like a time management role to kind time of time management? <laughs> well, roll Silvano. A... You need to roll Silvano. That's all you need to roll. Time management and accounting. Let's not, let's not look at that. Um, are you? Do you mean you want to like figure out the best way to like optimize your time as you're Just figuring out like okay, if we take a week here, the travel time, like right. factor in some delays, and then the travel, like getting to each of the places plus stopping by and being like, oh, you know, yeah, this will leave us this many days, or it's like actually we're going to be short a day or two. Maybe we need a speed this up a little bit just so we don't find out that we're uh are you talking like project management stuff that's yeah. what he's doing he's got a game, he's he's really the game chart i pull out one of my notebooks it has like a calendar in it and i'm um i i made i made that education wrong. I, I saw that don't worry yeah okay um, was it... uh um i'm gonna start by saying yes to nothing in particular and then i'm going to uh uh say with the education role uh, you have noticed that every time that you have said, hey, Rogers, we have this cool thing that maybe you could work with, that cool thing has no longer been yours. It becomes That's... Delta Green property. That's true. So don't tell Rogers. No. Well, so here's... We here, here's... Rogers? 
here's the conundrum and i'm gonna say this out of game dr hollister just said don't tell rogers (laughs) (laughs) yeah i'm I'm going to say this out of game the conundrum that i am running into is that delta green is better equipped better funded better able to experiment with this sort of stuff um every time that we have done major workings something has gone very 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 wrong so it's called the GM. <laughs> on 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 the one hand, a part of a part of me wants to withhold information from Rogers. On the other hand, we theoretically work for him, and he is better equipped, funded, prepared, and all the other stuff to mass produce elder signs to uh, figure out all of this stuff. Do I agree with his methods? Not even a little bit. Yeah. But we need we need these guys. Yeah. I mean, so. But- but we can make them. We can make them. <laughs> yes, but it's a huge drain on us. If we can use Gavigan as a battery, since we no longer have the staves or the headdress or any of the things that let us do it without consequence, like, oh, I don't know, losing POW. Um, if, if, we, if, if we can figure out a way for them to mass produce Elder Signs and give each of us one, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Why don't we start with Emma's sword? Now, no, no harm. just to remember, Elder signs are essentially site specific. So like having what just carrying one around doesn't do a lot for you. It's we put an elder sign on this this space and it will keep this space from happening or things can't cross this threshold or that sort of thing. Right, right. So if we have this, we have to put it somewhere. It doesn't it's not like attached to me. Mm-hmm. But we right? could but we could attach it to like a place that that we're staying in order to keep something uh, that is that that it, that that it would block from coming. Yeah, in we've done that before. Window. Yeah, we that's mm-hmm. one of the things that we've done is made elder signs it. So, so it's it, going to be. Um, it's starting to get into the evening uh, here at at uh, in Washington. So uh, if you are going to go to Cairo, you need to go soon. Yeah, let's stay. I think we should stay. Yeah, what's what's my uh, what's my product management role? Uh, let's call it. Um, I mean, really, it's accounting, but you don't want to roll accounting. Uh, that would yeah, be okay. the other guy. Need Silvano back. <laughs> so make yeah. me an intelligence roll. Uh, critical success. Yeah. So you have yeah you figured out that you know you're 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 coming up with okay if we get. Elder sign production down to this this many days. Um, now all of your uh, computations are taking into effect that you're giving uh, Delta Green all of the information. You know, you're sort of giving them the stuff to do it. Uh, no, my calculations are we talk directly with the professor. Yeah, but or she works. Joan does it. She oh, works. Professor Aldridge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can. She works for Delta Green. She yeah, will so give them everything that we give her. That she is, she is a Rogers truther. She is. Um, That's she's fine, really, but we. It's more, still more time efficient to cut out the middleman. Sure. Yeah, I don't want to hand over everything. I just want to hand it over. I mean, if we can make a mimeo, if we can. <laughs> I don't want to hand everything over. I just want to hand it over. <laughs> But, uh, you know, if we could make a Mimeo or if we could, there was some way to, God, there's some way to Mimeo make another copy. In this version of reality at this time. Yeah, yeah there are Mimeo well, graph machines. Yeah, there, there and are- Joan, if, I mean, you could still make these using without loss of anything on your end, we could use Gavigan and you wouldn't be losing any strength or whatever it is. All you have to do is plug Gavigan into your arm. Yeah, that that's fun. that is my primary concern right now. Is I don't know what happens when you connect up to that person, and we have fought him directly. Like Aldrich didn't in any universe. Just so, like out of character, I think that Joan would actually probably know that it probably wouldn't work. What? You can't get pow from a zombie. There's, there's no, there's no will to draw from. It would, it would come from, it would come from Joan if we plug Joan into it. Well, and that's why I wanted to talk to the professor more about that because I'm fascinated about how that had happened. And, uh, and, and to- Silvano's notes, if you actually go through them, are very, both fixated or even obsessed with that. Yeah, about yeah. the loss of Pal and yes, uh, yes, you know all that stuff. Yes, yes. So that's why I would talk to her about 
and right, yeah, as, you, as part of our research and part of our, oh, we should work together. That's what I would so do. So it sounds like you guys aren't, uh, you guys aren't going to Cairo today. We, it, it, would, it would be cutting it too close. There's no right. way that we could do everything that needs to, to happen blood and in order to do this yeah. ritual in the next so, like seven hours. So Rogers, it's now you know past dinner. He's gonna set you up with a place to yeah. stay. Uh, yeah. They have like they have some barracks here, so he will he will set you up here. Um, and you know he. I'll go home. Yeah, that's right. This yeah, Doctor Hollister can actually go home. Um, and. Uh, I want to cut to a vignette. So um, you guys have been sent to the barracks. Uh, uh, you've got your, your places. You're given uh, these ID cards that you're supposed to wear at all times. Um, it's about two in the morning. And Alexandra, you wake up and you notice that Donald is not in the room. I'm 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 going to sit bolt upright and look around because I expect to see him there and just yeah you know see he's not in there. All right, I'm going to slip and slip out of bed. Um, I'm I'm imagine I'm in my pajamas, but I grab a, a one of my daggers and just like pad uh, pad barefoot over to the door and start looking around. Okay, uh, you open the door and uh, you see Donald head down a hallway and turn a corner. Does he look like he's moving oddly? No. All right, I'm gonna follow him. Okay. Quietly. Um, uh, uh, Tom, I'm gonna change your idea a little bit, but uh, it's gonna be mostly the same. Uh, so you follow from a distance, and by the time you get there, um, you um, you you cr you pass two guards that have been knocked unconscious. I'll, I'll pause long enough to like check their pulse and make they're sure not, they're, they're not dead. They're unconscious. Yeah, you pause. And okay. so with those pauses, you come into the lab where the portal machine is. And you see that a door has been opened and you see Donald pushing Yusef and Kafur through a door. And on the other side of the door, you see Carl Stanford as he pushes the portal machine through the door and then closes the door, and then his neck just like goes flares, and Donald collapses. I'm going to drop my dagger and just run to him. He is, um, he's, he's, uh, he's alive. The back of his neck is badly burnt. Does it look like this? The sign is gone. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh uh, well, so. I'm in that room, that that portal room. Yeah. What? 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 What happened? What? What happened? What happened? What happened to me? What do you what? remember? I was asleep. I I I just woke up. What? Where, where are we? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. What, where? Where are we? We're in the portal room. Did, did we go somewhere? Like what happened? I woke up, you were gone, and um, I came into the room in time to see you pushing Dr. Kafur and Yosef through an open portal to Carl Sanford. No, that, 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 that doesn't make any sense. What, what do you mean? I pushed, what did I do? I'm gonna like gently touch the, the back of his neck. Oh, my burns, oh God, oh God. I think you served the purpose that Stanford had for you. What's Rogers going to do? I don't know. Probably recreate it with other people. He would have all of the notes. Uh, Stanford, Stanford has those, those two. He has those two. He does. We have to tell Rogers. They're in danger. We're all in danger. Yes. Uh, at then... that point, a bell, an alarm bell starts to ring throughout the base. Um, you are all, the rest of you wake up and you hear, uh, you hear an alarm bell uh, and you all notice that Alexandra and Donald are missing. Oh crap, what'd they do now? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
you can't get in trouble for stealing stuff from the from the commissary, <laughs> can you? <laughs> now it's even worse. Yeah. Oh man, if they found alcohol. <sighs> Who do you think we are, Emma? <laughs> <laughs> You still, you're still not going to get a, an alarm for alcohol. Does Emma wake up cuddling the flamethrower tank? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I spent the rest of my day looking for like a little cart that I can carry the gallon around behind me, like a little wagon. <laughs> nice. Yeah. There's, you have a little like radio flyer that is uh, following you around with it. Mm -hmm. Is there a phone or something in this room we can use to contact security or, or yeah, whatever? Yeah. You pick, yeah. There's a phone that goes right to the front. I'll pick it up. I, I'm going to go to the door. Front desk. Yeah, let's go to the hallway. Let's go outside. See what's up. The, the, and I, it's here, the, the, the portal room. This is where the problem, um, tell Rogers, um, this, it, it's bad. It's bad. Send, send Rogers here. All right. So, uh, yeah, there will be very quickly, there will be um, three or four soldiers in there with, with, with the big guns. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, you guys follow a trail of be, med, uh, of of guards being tended to medically uh, that have like uh, in, in medics looking at them um, and you get to the portal room and you immediately notice that the portal machine is gone and um, there are guards that are semi-politely talking to Donald and Alexandra while semi politely not pointing their guns directly at them. Yeah, and and and, and Alexandra is very carefully holding her hands away from her sides to make, to make sure that they know she's not armed at the moment. Daggers closer to the door. I assume that I'm going to get a phone call very soon. <laughs> is that the doctor? Is yes. Doctor? Yeah, Doctor uh, Hollister. We need you at the base now. Uh, I'll wake. Okay, I wake up and I get in my car with my jammies still on. <laughs> nice all right and an overcoat and a g-man <laughs> overcoat <laughs> um and uh um the guards are clearly not they're just like trying to get figure out the the who what when and where and why they don't really understand the any of the sin significance or anything like that um that they stole something some what what happened guys I, I imagine we're being kept apart at the moment by the guards. Yeah, yeah the guards yeah, won't let you. The, so, they're keeping like... apart from those two. Yeah. Uh, Rogers, uh, Rogers uh, will come in a little before Hollister. Um, I got a report on the way over here. What the hell did you do, Con Cannon? I, I was, I was, um, I was asleep, but it, it it used me. The whatever this thing on my neck was. It, you were it, compromised. The, I, the next thing, it's take a look. Take just look at this thing. Was it's, it your plan to come here and no. triple our operation? Of course not. We wouldn't have sent him here previously to have the surgery done, a dangerous th surgery, if it was if it was the intention to compromise in the middle of of, of the place. This is a setback, a major setback. Major. I understand. We know. And on top of that, Stanford apparently has the portal machine now. And Dr. Kafur and Yosef, yes. Yes. And Stanford is highly intelligent. He'll figure out how to work it. Undoubtedly. I mean, he figured it out well enough to get the, the portal open. I don't think Donald knew how to open the portal. I don't know how any of this works. Damn. Well, um, I guess it's a good thing Dr. Hollister was working on all our alternate timelines. And all, almost like a summons, uh, <laughs> you come in and um, your life's work is not in this room for the first time in I Alive? guess months, yeah. really. <laughs> and I don't think it's because Rogers has taken my advice. No, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> so I suspect what happened here. Doctor, look at my look at my neck. It's, uh, my, just look at this place. So now it doesn't look like a tattoo. It looks like a brand. There's like a burning in there. Oh, it's worse. <laughs> <sighs> I thought it was gone, but it's still there. Oh, 
it looks like, yes. Uh, so it is, um, now it's just like the residue of the tattoo from the burn. So there's yeah, like, it's, it's like the brand is too strong. It's like scar kind of scar tissue. Whatever's there is gone. I think, but I think like, is the energy in the form of the brand, like, is it just kind of molting, molten seeping out? Like what, what's the, what's the so deal? With this thing? It seems like it's now normal skin, like his skin. I think it was a a one use activation only to get Stan to get uh, Donald to do whatever Stanford needed him to. I hope that's. I hope you're right. Well, you're. It, it, it looks like your skin again. It hurts you to, to have it touched. Well, we're gonna need to do a lot of tests <laughs> and tend to it. Yes, uh, that yeah. would. Yeah. Be good. Donald's expecting I, the morphine as you say that. <laughs> <laughs> well. I mean, the uh, easiest way to solve this problem is kill Stanford. We know where he is. Yes. But now we can't get there easily. Not without rebuilding that thing. And now he can run away easily. Anywhere. We're going to need more arcane practitioners to power that. Cart horse. I'm feeling Stanford's the answer here. Yeah, but we, we, we're, we're going to have to get there and kill him, preferably. Uh, is that uh, before Egypt? Well, we got a month. I'm working on Donald while we're having yeah, this. You're looking at, um, so it seems like, um, so the weirdest part of all this is that it seems that um, the skin graft is completely gone. Oh, I didn't say looking. I said working. Oh. I'm working. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm patching him up. Yeah. So, um, so, oh, uh, in, in terms of the heat like really equipment and a pad and sure. all that yeah. you are, you're, you're, you're taking care of almost like, it's almost rote for you to kind of just, you know, not as you're thinking. Uh, uh, um, but I whisper, you know, you're not getting that bottle now. <laughs> <sighs> so, um, can we start over next week? You know what? Sure. Uh, and so, you know, um, at a certain point, Rogers is just like, well, we might as well all go back to bed. There's no, now we're, now our timeline is weeks instead of days. Wow. Let's all, let's all, let's all go get, go get some sleep. I feel like things will look if not better, at least more manageable in the morning. After a drink. You're gonna go get a drink now? Yeah, I think this is a good time. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. yeah, there is, there is, a, uh, uh, there is a, 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 a commissary that has some not great whiskey. But you uh, I'll, 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 I'll no. go with him. Scooping up my dagger on, on, on the way out the door, just like Ben scoop go. Okay. Uh, so this is now in Washington, the morning of May 7th. Got it. Oh, timeline, time zones. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Is it the 7th or is it the 8th? Because it would be the 8th. It was, no, because at in the morning in Cairo, it was night, in the morning in Shanghai, it was the previous night in which was the seventh because it was the eighth like we needed to get oh. to cairo on the eighth so it's now really the morning of the eighth. The no we needed to yeah. get there on the seventh yeah the full moon was the seventh oh okay sorry then all right yeah. i thought we were one oh, day ahead full moon tonight, the morning yeah. of the seventh okay and um let's day seven two <laughs> yeah uh and um yeah there is um uh it, not even subtly there is a uh, there's a guard following Donald everywhere he goes, like standing outside your room. And as soon as Donald leaves, he just starts walking with you. And not not surprised. That's fine. He's he's um, he's professionally mildly apologetic about his duty, but he is not uh, he's not fooling around. Don't sweat it, lad. That's fine. I understand. 
Yeah, and 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 to help keep an eye on the guard and on Donald both for 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 different reasons. Alexandria is never very far either. Yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, Doctor Hollister actually has a schedule of like how this research could be put out. Um, it is a no. I have to look at the book. Uh, I think it is. Let me check the travel time here. So it will be about, thank you, table of contents. That was very useful. I love it when, when, when there's a good table of contents. So uh, with, with fair seas and good winds, uh, it's about a 10 day trip from the US to, uh, uh, to Port Said, Cairo. Um, but with the North, you know, with the North Atlantic as it normally is, it's pretty much two to three weeks. It's more in that range, almost always. Um, Rogers could put you on a Navy ship where you'd get there faster, but it would be a lot less comfortable. Don't care. That's fine. I was going to say we'd have to because literally if it takes three weeks, that if we left today we'd or tomorrow morning, we'd arrive on the 30th and we technically have one full week to the new moon, which is June 6th. So... We'd have well, to use, moon, use the fastest. Uh, the new moon is not part of the, of the. I'm sorry, the full moon. Oh yeah, because okay. the new moon is in two weeks. Right. And then two weeks and two days later is the full moon. Yeah. So he can he can get you on a navy ship, uh, that would that would make sure that it is a at, that is at most a two week trip. Okay. Ugh. What's the what's the What's the over under on if the uh, the Duchess is on this boat? Hi, very are there, high. Are there, are there blimps we could use, perhaps? Well, don't don't, don't talk about the Duchess that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there there is a transatlantic uh, a zeppelin. It's run by the Germans. Uh, it is uh, you know um. It is, uh, it doesn't travel, it only travels from New York to uh, London or to Berlin. There's no uh, direct service, there's no dirigible to, uh, uh, to Egypt. Yeah, good call though, good call. Um, yeah, so I'm we gonna have go to, to- We can go to London and get on the Orient Express. <laughs> Thanks, but no. That's a whole side adventure. Right, huh? nope. Nope. Uh, so I mean the um you know I actually don't know how long it took a transatlantic Zeppelin trip. Let's see. I think they're slower. It's just luxurious. Yeah, it was definitely transatlantic Zeppelin flight time. Wow, no, that's much faster. 111 oh. hours and 44 minutes. That's great. Uh, that is from uh, New Jersey to Friedrichshafen. I'm so glad we have someone who speaks German on this to actually try to get that, that right. So <laughs> the very first commercial passenger flight across the Atlantic went from Friedrichshafen, 1928, but we're going to bend that a little, uh, and land uh, at it left on October 11th and it arrived in New Jersey on October 15th. Wow. I like that. Let's do that. <laughs> from from Germany, we just um, take a train down south and then a boat or something. Pops, uh, yeah, from Germany, there. you could take a train or, or you could, uh, yeah, that would be the most common was to take a, probably take a train down to Italy and then take a boat across the Mediterranean. Wow, that still would be faster, huh? Well, but hang on. So it's a train to New Jersey, which is a day, then three days across the Atlantic then a train from Germany to Italy is probably what, like two days in this time? Yeah. Not yeah. one day? Uh, I, no, it's an overnight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe arrive in Venice or something, take a boat from there. Yeah, you could pull into Venice and then take a, yeah, take a boat from there. Uh, and or the Genoa. Boat, that would be another day. So it would be what, like maybe a week to, eight, to, to nine days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 10 days tops, you know. I like that option if we can get ourselves on that blimp. 
And bonus, far lower chance of running into the Duchess. At least on that one. leg. You still have one boat ride. <laughs> <You're> on a- <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you know, Rogers will be like, um, Zeppelin travel is, it's expensive, but we can take care of it if you want to go across. It's, it's definitely for the upper crust. It's the safest way to travel, they tell us. For a while, anyway. God, how is this going to go? We should still (laughs) leave earlier. Just, oh I no! I shouldn't take my flamethrower on the zeppelin. We have to travel. That's the one thing we have to travel light. So customs is definitely a little more strict on the uh, flamethrower. Also, uh, post post Great War Germany uh, is a little more stringent about firearms. Yeah, but there's. Sounds- there's uh, there's, there's some military bases along the way we could stop. Yeah, but it at. still sounds like taking just taking the boat and going and not having to worry about changing and going to different places. Just get on the army boat and go. Or that Navy military boat. boat would allow us to bring all of our gear with us. That is, that is a bonus. Get on the Navy boat and go. Yeah, but the last time we were on, I mean, need I remind you the last time, the last Navy boat we were on is now. In pieces. In pieces. <laughs> Floating above an island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why would never that? What what what's the over under that Stanford has put that back together and is using it for his own purposes? Flesh destroyer. Oh no! no. My idea was bad. You made it worse. Literally, <laughs> Not flesh destroyer. A flesh destroyer. Yeah, uh, uh, going around the East China Sea. That's not a moon. That's a flesh star. <laughs> Kill it with fire. <laughs> See, it's the, the aft of the boat. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, and we broke Julie. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? You okay there? Oh. Right? Yes. That Just is breathe. unfortunate. Just breathe. Um, uh, Rogers, I mean, Rogers will say that it, it sounds like the Zeppelin is the fastest way. If we're worried about, I've read your files, and <laughs> things <what> blow up. <laughs> that, some, some buffer that, time seems like it wouldn't hurt. That must have been a fascinating read. What information I have? Well, I don't know. If fascinating is the right word. We have Dr. Confidentiality, right? <laughs> <laughs> but if I can be abstract, it was like reading a train wreck. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, living it felt like living through a train wreck. Several in a row. There you know, is- that pirate ship. Remember that pirate ship? It's I don't know. I try not to. Uh, there is um, there is a zeppelin leading from leaving from New Jersey in two days. So we would need to leave uh, tomorrow to get on that. And, um, I could probably arrange navy transport within a week. Hmm. Well, what do we have to do here, still? Yeah. I mean, are we going to mass try and produce a? Uh, Make copies of notes and leave them with Professor Aldridge. Or are we going to try and make an elder sign before we leave? Let's, let's make an elder sign. Why not? Do you want the short list or the long? Yeah, no, why yeah. Not? <laughs> Pick the short list. Uh, takes a lot of power. Might leave someone brain dead. Uh, we'll, let, we'll let the elders lady deal with that problem. Oh. I, I, I'm just going to leave that there. Just let give, it. I could give them that particular part. I can make a copy of that. Well, mm-hmm. and again, I, I think, I think, I honestly think it's a good idea to get them copies of, of as much as we can because Silvano's whole thing was training an army of sorcerers. That was his focus. 
what mm-hmm. the, it's what Octavian told you you needed. And if that's and if that's yeah. the case, who better to ask than the military? We need a lot more. Yeah, more they sorcerers then. Yeah, they do seem to be willing to work with them and 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 weaponize them. So, all right, I will. Uh, I'll make some notes. That's okay. what I'll be doing. Uh, right. Nick, somewhat. Okay. Very professional. Uh, a little. Uh, 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 very driven. Okay. And, um, kind of uh, uh, doesn't have a lot of time for people that don't know as much as her. Ah. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming I would not wish any ill upon her. No. Okay. No, she's been a, a fine, uh, uh, you know, a fine coworker. Um. Just from the comment of like, we'll dump that on her. It's like, uh, what? yeah, Alexandra has exactly the same face of, uh, we didn't get on, but I wouldn't wish that on her. We've crafted a few of those before, we, and it's worked. I mean, Joan knows how to do this, it shouldn't be a problem. In all my readings, magic hasn't seemed to work well for you. I would say I don't Magic know. works. We don't work well. Let's rephrase that. Yes. I, I'm just saying oh. I can't, I can't from what I've read, and I'm sure there's gaps, uh, recall a time where it did not explicitly backfire in some way. That, that sword. Wait, that, no. that yeah. We had a, we, we did a sword and we put in, you know, stones the, the on sword, things. The it's... sword backfired incredibly. That's like one of your biggest... That's the the worst sword thing. didn't backfire. We were stabbed in the back and somebody took the sword. Wow. You used the sword to resurrect Nidacris. I didn't use it. Not intentionally. Well, again, backfire. And again, best example of. <laughs> All right. That's why I am willing to work with someone else. Well, Professor Aldridge is very professional and capable. Uh, don't rub off on her. <laughs> Our, uh, <laughs> I, I, I reckon that won't be too difficult. And Alexandra just slams the rest of her drink. Uh, so it sounds like you're going to maybe spend a day working on... Uh, trying to teach Professor Aldridge the elder sign stuff and um, they will make mimeographs. They get a steno- they get like a pool of stenographers to like record all of, of uh, um, you know, like if you say they have a day to get Silvano's notes, then they get a hundred typists and they're just oh, like- Before they do this, before they do this, I'm gonna ask the group, should I give them all of the notes or is there any that we should not? What do you want to just give them everything. Just give them what they need. Okay. I mean, look at the way they, I mean, literally, if Rogers didn't have good intent, he's borderline Madam Lynn. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure. And I want to make get, get a promise that I will get the notes back when they're done. Uh, there, you, you know, you said you need them back today. So they are like yeah. bringing in every typist they can find to like. Perfect hurry up and, and get them done. Um, Perfect. So what you think is that um, because of the way this is happening, the the teach is going to be a little disjointed. Um, you know, in, you know, it's, it's the classic sort of when you make one clock, everything is fine tuned and perfect. When you make a thousand clocks, you know, some, uh, some corners get shaved. Yeah. And so, um, you know, that it, it's, you get that sense, Joan, as you're kind of um, uh, uh, talking through this and working through things is that like uh, Stanford and Gavigan and that sort of thing, their approach to magic was like as a craftsman. And this is a uniquely American, like we're going to mass produce this. As long as they have everything, they have all, you know, I'm going to try to give them all the nuances and if they need to shave those, but at least they have them. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. That's my, that's the way I'm focused. Uh, uh, Professor Aldridge will ask you if you'd like to be involved in uh, uh, the first test of the uh, uh, um, elder sign ritual. How involved would you like me? Uh, well, I mean, you, you're the only person here who has performed this ritual. Uh, it would be wonderful if you could uh, assist. Perfect. Uh, make me an, in yeah, make me an intelligence roll, Joan. Hard success. All right, so the last time you assisted, you got drained. That's true. Now, Aldridge will tell you that theoretically, if we hook you up to Gavigan as well, the drain will come through still will will come through Gavigan. But I want to stress the use of the word theoretically. Yes, that's the problem, isn't it? Um, well, I noticed that you were a, very much able to uh, use the battery last time. Y yes, although uh, uh, that ritual does not require. Um, it does not have the same cost as I understand that this one does. This is imbuing, the ritual says part of your soul, but I really think that's existential metaphysical poppycock. Energy, it's energy. Sure, um, and, and you are imparting that energy permanently into the item. Whereas the, the repairing uh, 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 ritual did not have that same power. Because it didn't power the item, it just fixed it. Okay. All right. Um, all right. I am willing to be hooked up to uh, the battery as well. I have learned how to use battery power. So. Yeah, you have some experience with that. Uh, okay, so uh, does anybody else want to watch this ritual? Can we watch from that behind the <laughs> glass? Yeah. Uh, behind the two-way glass? If we can watch from a point where we don't run the risk of being drained, I'm down for it. Otherwise, yeah, no that, thank you. There is the two-way glass uh, there. So you will... Um, yeah, all right. So, um, Joan, you and Aldridge go in and, um, and get uh, weird needles stuck in your arm uh and it feels when the needle gets stuck in your arm it feels a little bit like um the feeling you got with the staves good okay and uh it is um yeah it feels a little bit like that and um you start the ritual now you recall that the ritual is actually quite long so they have on the table, there is um, a, a metal, a piece of metal with an elder sign uh, 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 that has been uh, uh, welded into it. And they, uh, 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 that is the focus. And so you and Professor Aldridge start chanting, uh, make me a pow roll. Oh, eight. Yes. Okay. So. Wow, that's outstanding. yeah, that's out, yeah, that's outstanding. That's the I keep I calling it urgent. <laughs> I think outstanding was four. Outstanding, years. yes. Uh, uh, the only one I did remember for sure is amazing was fifty. Yes, call that. Um, so uh, uh, you and Doctor Aldridge are chanting, and it seems like uh, the battery thing is is working. I'm feeling uh, it come into me from that from the battery, basically. Uh, well, what you aren't feeling is anything coming out of you. All right. In that la the la and when you have performed it before, there was uh, a, a definite feeling of part of you was being imparted into that. Right. Um, the Gavigan body is tense once again. Um, you got a great roll on the power roll, so. Um, I think, gosh, I don't remember. It's it was several hours, so you guys chant for several hours, and um, in front of you is a a metal elder sign that uh, 
it's not glowing or anything like that. Um, but then the other ones only, well, no, it is, there's a, there's a, a it's giving off a little light. Okay, they, good. Cause it, we need a little light to know. Right. But thing. well, you know, you know, that location is very important. Uh, Silvano was very hung up on, you know, places of power and uh, putting them in, you know, uh, uh, where you made the elder sign was super important. That's right. It. And, and then I will, uh, I will also imbue that with her just to tell her that, you know, that's why it's not glowing furiously and things like that. Sure. Yeah. Um, she's infused and she's, you know, Professor Aldridge is uh, uh, very excited that that worked and thanks you profusely. And she feels uh, okay. There's no problems. I feel wonderful. I can't wait to do this again. It can be draining. So we just need to be careful. But not for us. <laughs> we got a battery. <laughs> how long that battery is going to last well i say I very know. i say very quietly from it from the room and the two yeah. with the two-way gl uh, glass yeah i'm actually honestly, getting kind of excited <laughs> i don't care how long it lasts i'm just concerned that gavigan's now back in joan's head i mean we got rid of one problem to now have another one point at donald and potentially a, a, a third um, so in the in the two-way glass you guys are all um, you have some questions about what the liquid coming out of Gavigan is because there was coming out of that line, it was green. Aww. Do we really though? What have we seen that bleeds green? I don't think we've seen anything that bleeds green. That spider thing, the spider thing with one eye bled green. I'm trying to remember what and you're then, talking about. Yeah. There, it was in that yeah, it was in my room and it killed Joan. And then also, was there something at Hofang's that bled green? That sounds right. Yeah, I think there might have been. I don't remember what it was, but that I'll have to right. look it up. I'll have to look Am it I up. familiar with the green or any of this? Um, you, that's what has always come out of of this corpse. Hmm. Is the doctor with us? Yeah, yeah, he's in there as well. Uh, Dr. Hollister, maybe you should uh, examine these two after this ritual to see if there's anything unusual about them. Oh, no, I've, I've checked with, with Aldrich before. I... Well, what's, what's the fluid that goes from the corpse into her arm? You're not sure. No, I mean, I... Then again, he's a zombie. I mean, I, I, I would... Think that it's very blood-like and my suspicion <laughs> would be that it is due to due to his magical activities that that might be a part of the factor as to why his body's changed is uh, that green substance mixing with jones blood yeah but she should be fine <laughs> we pull we've got the things out of our arms now and we're just talking yes. right yeah 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 you know but every people Absolutely, every time that I have heard that sentence, it should be fine. Usually, it's not. No, mm -hmm. I take it back. Every single time that I have heard that sentence, it has been wrong. Well, I didn't say that about Donald's neck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you did until uh, yeah. until you saw that it had grown back. That was a solid eight hours. <laughs> it was fine for a while. <laughs> <sighs> so what now? So, so now Joan is fine, according to that, until she turns into an evil sorcerer. And I mean, let's be honest, she's never been far from that. You know, I see those horns. <laughs> <laughs> you know perfectly right how, you know perfectly well how right I am when I say that. <laughs> Joan, make me a... Make me a Cthulhu mythos roll. Ooh, here we go. See, fine. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I, I don't. I what? Well, well, Do you have? You want to make it? I have one. Yeah. Well. But and I did not make it. You want? Oh. It's seventy-seven. So. You no, spend go on. luck. <laughs> <laughs> you could try again because you know the most important thing is to have Cthulhu mythos. I've got eleven. You could catch up. 
Don't. That's right. Yours is higher than mine. I was just thinking that I had the oh, highest in the party. I have, I have one because of, of some of the stuff that we've been doing, but that's right. it. Uh, Joan, also, you can make me a psychology role. Okay. I don't have a lot of. Uh, I didn't make it. Um, yeah, I rolled a 17 and I have 10. So mm. it's been seven luck. It's tempting. It is. Why? Why? No. Because <laughs> this is the I'm... person who spent luck like it was water. It'd be good to know what's going on. Uh, so, nope. so what I will give you. You're going to uh, do it? Oh, did you spend the seven luck? I'm going to do it. Is that for a psychology yes. role? Yeah, that's for the psychology. I thought we were talking about Cthulhu mythos still. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so you spend seven luck. Um, so with psychology, um, Professor Aldridge keeps that IV in her arm like one beat longer than you're really comfortable with. Okay. Uh, and I'll ask her. It's like, it's like, we're done. Why? Take it out. Let's go. Oh, Thank you. I, I, it feels so natural that I sometimes forget that it's in, and she'll take it out. You forget Can we that hear that in? from the other room? Oh, yeah. yeah. So you, you forget that you have an IV in your arm? How do you do this that often? I mean, we need to test this, and you saw the, the other texts that we have are just not as arcanely prepared as I am. So you've been doing this a lot. Um, do I, with, with that, my, my role, do I sense that she is getting anything else pulled out of her from that? I'm like, uh, is she less sane no. than she could be? Okay. No. Although, who the hell are you to judge how sane someone is? <laughs> true. Uh, true. But, true. No, but she, I thought I'd ask. That's my well, job. That's Thank true. I, I thought I'd ask. I kind um, of am actually, as I'm watching this happen, I'm taking some notes. Just turned to Alexandra. I was like, the professor may have to go soon. <laughs> I mean, it, it, I guess she isn't that different here. Well, but, that, uh, well we still keep talking. I keep talking to her and everything like that. Just to, but we're talking about all how she, what other kinds of things she's done. So I'm going to try to get all the info I can out of her. Well, um, there's, you know, she'll let you know that there's not a lot they have in the way of arcane knowledge. They have one tome, and um, I want to see that it's fairly limited, um, and uh, they have some some pretty exhaustive notes on the portal uh, stuff um, that Doctor Kafour and Yusef were working on. Cool. Um, then we can exchange. I gave you some notes, and maybe I can get access to the tome. And I saw the guy reading it, and he yeah. He doesn't do enough. Uh, that tome is not leaving this building. Oh, no, no, no. But I, I, I can take them notes, right? Uh, but you are leaving this building, as I understand it. So the tome won't be leaving. I don't follow. The tome will not be leaving the building, but I get to see it. What can you... Po you're leaving tomorrow, or possibly today, to get to the Zeppelin. It's months of, of research required. Oh, I, I, I understand, but it, it, I, I just wanted to get an idea of what kind of stuff you guys have when I come back. She's almost insulted at like your cavalier like attitude towards research. And, um, um, but she's like- But I'm <sighs> avid, but I'm avid. You dabble. I got you through this and your, your people that you're teaching didn't get through it. Now that we have the notes that we require, we will be get, we will begin producing these elder signs on a scale that you can't even imagine. Oh, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, thank you for your help. You've been most useful. It was, uh, it was very, it was very helpful to have someone who had done the ritual before here. Well, I, I appreciate that, but. Um... Any, why can't I look at the book? We have some- I, we're, 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 we're researchers, we're, we're sharing information. We have some concerns uh, uh, that the impact that 
extended arcane research has on one's psyche. And how long have you been researching arcane magics? Uh, not, not as long as you. We are working on some methods to train our minds and to uh, better prepare new recruits to handle the rigors of this knowledge. You don't think I'm rigorous enough for the knowledge. Okay, I see. Your words. Your words. Right from the horse's mouth. We need to go get her out of there before. No, nope. I'm, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy this. Uh, somehow, you don't know how. Like all of a sudden, the crowbar is in Joan's hand, and she's like gripping it. <laughs> um, uh, Professor Lamb, is is something wrong? The fact that you want to take everything from me and not return the favor and imply that I'm not worthy or that I don't know what I'm not enough doing enough. I don't have enough training for this. Yeah, there's something wrong. I think our concern is that you consider national security a favor. You're not helping me, you're helping the United States of America. And if I had more information, I could help them more. You'll pardon me if we are uh, we're wary of trusting the group that gave the portal machine away. There was no giving away. Our, Did our, just disappear? His, his, they stole a mind. They stole a body. They stole several bodies. It's all on them. At what point, when it happens to you repeatedly, is it no longer all on them? Were you not aware of Mr. Concannon's condition? We knew that, 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 that he had something on his neck, but what it was and what it could do was not apparent. And we also sent him here to get it excised and fixed. And guess what? When he came here to have it excised and fi fixed, Mr. Concannon was clear to us that he realized that this mark was going to make him do something awful. Just at a hunch, I, did, I didn't know. <laughs> Donald like hits the loudspeaker. <laughs> no, I'm talking to them the in the room. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do I hear that or not? <laughs> No. Yeah, all right. Well, that's that. That's Aldrich for you. She makes very definitive statements when she doesn't know what she's talking about. Well, it seems that you don't trust me. Don't know if I should trust you. And I'm done. And I, I have grab all my stuff and I walk out of the room. All right. Uh, Aldridge stays in there, and those of you in the um, in the the room with the glass. <laughs> You, you see, she turns around and there's almost like a caress of the, of the Gavigan corpse as she turns around and leaves. Yeah, we got to put her down. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I shouldn't be giving her those notes from that Yusuf fellow. Then. No. no, when we said don't share, we meant don't share. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, and this, and, and this is the point where, where, where I say we don't share anymore if we don't absolutely have to. And I, and, and I shoot Hollister a look of- Yeah, we both ahead. are like- I'm like, look, just look at him and go, go ahead, disagree with me. <laughs> oh man, when I get back to you guys, I'm gonna say, you guys told me I should share with <laughs> everything. No, after observing that, I think I have some recommendations for Rogers. <laughs> Regarding the professor. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, I've- There are things that I know that indicate that she is 
someone who is seduced by this kind of power very easily. Well, I'm I'm also yeah. thinking back. Yeah, I'm gonna speak to Rogers. P people who have power don't want to share it. And they want more. And I and, 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 yeah. And, I, and as I say that, I look at Joan. <laughs> and they have no regard for other human beings. Dr. Hollister, I, you know, you say that we mess things up constantly. It's because we have a conscience. It's because we're not going to do things like leave people in a prison in the basement. Um, that's why we mess things up. Donald backs away from this conversation slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I, and, and I did not tell them how exactly it went down down there. And it's that's going to stay our little secret. Well, you know, and then I, I'll probably start ranting about power with a conscience and, 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 and mm -hmm. you know, how people always try to take power from you and they don't believe you. And I, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a little rant. I'm going to have a little <laughs> rant because I am really upset at her. It, that's exactly how it felt. That's her mutant I, power. Uh, <laughs> exactly how it felt back at the Academy. Just... Um, and, so, and, this, uh, and, this, um, and this time it's another woman doing it to you, not not a, a pack of men. But she is a psychologist. Oh. Uh, so Hollister, do you wanted to low turn on that remark? But <laughs> no, I, I I only say that because I have seen how often Joan reacts very poorly to men telling her what to do. I'm yes. observing that that it's interesting that it was a woman this time that's got to cut deeper in some ways. Because it's like, you know, there, there, there's, there's this idea of, you know, women stick together. Not so much. <laughs> uh, so you want to, uh, uh, just to be clear, are, is the, are you taking the Zeppelin or you, do you need the military boat? Which, which route are you going? Uh, let's see. I was leaning towards Zeppelin. What, what is everyone else? Let's go. I don't want to be on a military boat. As long as we can get lots of guns and flamethrowers and grenades when we get to Italy. Well, and that and that is my concern. We're not going to be able to bring things on the Zeppelin, especially not through Germany. Um, if we go on the military vessel, it'll be a bit slower. So, so Donald just, knows uh, that there are military, you know, there's at least one military base close uh -huh. to Cairo. Yeah. 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 That's um, true. I, 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 to be honest, the, the Zeppelin just sounds like too much fun. <laughs> and if we can get stuff when we get there yeah, i mean you, you like i said you, you, donald knows that there's at least one military base in cairo that has been mm -hmm. helpful to him in the past and uh he's got a buddy there now so yeah does he have a head we hey, just not at all head. A <laughs> he does kind of owe you a favor since you were you guys were so insistent on making sure that he stayed alive through that <laughs> Well, he owes Flint a favor, but yeah, well, and we'll take it. It transfers. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. So, um, Hollister, you wanted to uh, like uh, you wanted to leave a note or something for. Uh, well, I might go directly to Rogers and uh, go over her uh, the, the professor's apparent Gavigan addiction. Because, like, thinking back to when the person was getting the 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 language wrong on the the the, the first ritual we saw, I'm I'm questioning if that was actually genuine or if that was an excuse to hook up to the body, and I'm I'm stating that uh, that there there could be side effects that we're not aware of. Mm -hmm. And given the uh, the Great Dane Society's track record of, of magic backfiring, that there's a potential for that here and to take measures to limit her exposure to that body. I, you know, I, I want to try and ameliorate this through using as many of the texts as possible. Uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Aldridge is pretty adamant that the texts are not up to the task. Uh, but with your, you know, with your field, I'm going to be, I, I'll, I'll try and be more hands-on and make sure that we are focusing more on uh, spreading the, uh, the wealth, so to speak. Thank you for, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Uh, it's, there's, I've got so many, I'm, I'm juggling so many plates right now. Is, is, it, is this time for a therapy session? Should I, should I help him work through some <laughs> 
You know what? You can make a psychotherapy roll and uh, you may attempt one anyway. I God, if you fumble, that would be awesome. <laughs> you drive Rogers. No, I'm wondering if I actually want to spend one luck or ask for inspiration. Just do the luck. What's a the number? Rogers, a Sane Rogers is good for all of us. What's the target number? <laughs> hmm? What's the target number for that for that roll? What? Uh, sixty, and I rolled a sixty-one. Yeah. How much? How how much luck do you have? That's the real question. Luck is precious. We don't talk about how yeah. much it is. Yes, we do. How much do you have? Seventy. Get out of here. Sixty-nine. Get. Spend the luck and get spend the luck and get and, and, and get to the cool number. Yes, yes. Oh dear. All right. Then yeah, we're I luck buddies. All right. So um you make it and you definitely have uh calmed Rogers uh uh some and you feel like um you know he he sort of um as you're kind of calming him and that sort of thing, he he will let you know that um you know deep down he doubts his you know he doubts the, the the human cost of everything he's doing and he has to put on this you know he he he, he really it drains him to put on this uncaring facade um as he is you know clearly sending you know, especially with uh, kafur and uh, uh, uh and the other boy sending innocent people to their death that you still feel that way shows that deep down you are still a good person. Uh, uh, thanks, Doctor. Um, I, I guess you're, if you don't mind, we'd like you to continue with your, uh, even though we no longer need to observe Mr. Concanon, the other parts of your mission still uh, are of great interest to us. I'd really like to run some more tests on him if I get the chance, though. All right. Uh, well, you're going to have a week on a Zeppelin. No, the, the equipment would be too dangerous there. Perhaps <laughs> on the boat. All right, there we go. Uh, well, uh, Godspeed, Dr. Hollister. Godspeed. So, yeah, you will, um, you know, you'll... Uh, um, get some meager clothes together and you you head up to New Jersey. For some reason, many of you don't want to go to New York. And so you kind of skirt New York. Yeah. Uh, like, like, a, like, like a part of Alexandria wants to go and retrieve some of her stuff because she has her flat there, but also. Uh... There's a, yeah, there's a very anxious moment for some of you as you wait for the, the train switch in Grand Central. Uh, yep, anytime I see a cop, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm uh, I'm I'm happy to go back to Jersey, and yeah, you you make it to New Jersey. There is um a, a just a huge open field, and before you is uh um uh, uh the Zeppelin. Oh, we'll call it uh, we'll call it the. I'm trying to think of a suitably the Duchess. <laughs> the, it, it, that's it. It's, it's called the Duchess. Yes, that is outstanding. <laughs> Uh, 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 and it is a massive thing. You actually climb up a tower and then uh, there is a gangplank attached to it. It is tied, it is moored to this tower and you climb up a, um, a surprisingly flimsy tower um, uh, and walk across the gangplank and you are inside. Um, everyone has, there are state rooms, so you have very nice, uh, about the size of, of a cruise ship room. You know, you have a very nice room. Um, the, the main open area is actually a dining area and then uh, also a dance floor. And there's a kitchen down below and all the crew stay down below. Um, and all the lavatories are down below because the lavatories tend to release out into the ocean. So yep. uh, the lavatories are on the, the ground floor as well. Just as nature intended. <laughs> uh but um it is uh um it is you know a beautiful inside it's all sort of art deco uh beautiful design it's well lit uh it's it's 
a little loud when uh, the engines start up, but um, you pull out and you start to head towards the, uh, you know, heading across the Atlantic. And uh, at dinner, uh, there is, uh, um, dinner is a, a full dress affair. Uh, uh, let's see, did anybody try to sneak weapons on board? I mean, <laughs> I mean, my ornamental sword, but that's just purely for a show. Um, they, yeah, will, I think you they will allow the sword in the hold. They won't that's allow fine. it on your person. Okay. Um, a pistol. Yeah, I... you're you're trying to sneak aboard a pistol. Yeah. All right. So uh, both of you make me a stealth roll, and I'll give you both an advantage die because you habitually sneak things uh, on. Oh, good. I'm gonna bring my my clip because I don't know if I'll be able to find another one of those, but I left the revolver. All right. Yeah. They don't really know what the clip is, so they. Eighteen hard success. All right. Hard, so, yeah. Hard you, success. Both, you have hard a success pistol, and you have a a a smaller than you're comfortable with brace of knives. Which means I only have like five instead yeah. of nine. <laughs> the crowbar is no problem. They they don't, you know, the crowbar is not a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk to Emma. Yeah. Uh, so the first night, um, uh, you're you're all a little underdressed for dinner. You uh, it's been it's been several. Uh, uh, actually, Doctor Hollister, you might have uh, you have uh, appropriate formal wear, but everybody else is a little underdressed. Um, it's been several, we lost our luggages since you had any sort of formal wear. Um, and, uh, uh, so you are, you are shunted to a table, uh, on the outside, uh, uh, in the, uh, in the later seating of dinner, but, um, it is a, uh, a, a lovely meal. Uh, and, and afterwards the tables are very quickly cleared away and, uh, there's a dance floor. And there's, uh, um, there's a small band uh, that is playing. Um, the band is playing a little louder than usual because the engines are actually quite loud um, and they are quite close to uh, uh, the cabins. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, everybody make me a luck roll. I roll a 70, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I will laugh so hard if that is the case. All right. Okay. All right. Come on, Emma. I have one hope. Yeah. See how those can can we crit on a luck Ooh. roll? Yeah. Oh. Yay! That's a uh, fifteen. Nice. Damn. All right. So, um, uh, um, the first night you're you're all pretty much left to your own devices, uh, unless you want to go up and talk to people. There are. Uh, a number of German conversations going on. There's at least one gentleman in some sort of German military uniform. Uh, and there are a number of uh, very well-dressed people uh, uh, all over. There's a lot of money on this Zeppelin. We don't see what's his name, the scam artist with the... Uh... No, We don't see anybody we know. Okay. No, that... that... That you, 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 yeah, you wouldn't recognize uh, him if you saw him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bed. You know what? I need a drink and I'm going to bed and I'm locking the door and please let nothing bad happen. Yeah, I, I, I imagine that at least the first night. Are the, do, do I know any of these dances or is this, is, or is this a little too new? No, yeah, you, you recognize a couple. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pull Donald onto the floor and be like, come on, indulge me. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's unwind. Let's Dr. Right. Hollister dance. Uh, not well, but I, I I I can't go to sleep right now. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Dancing uh, above the ocean. So Joan, yeah, uh, you're dancing with Doctor Hollister, and one of the Germans in the military uniform. He's got like a chest full of medals. He um he's dancing with a young lady, and he says to Hollister. Uh, would you mind if I cut in? And he like motions to the young lady to you. I look at you. A little bit. Let's 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 try. All right. Um, make me a dex roll, Professor. Oh. No. 
and I get a thing. <laughs> get a, a, a dancing on inspiration? A, yes. On a, yeah. on a boat where things can go bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make me the, de did you, you got inspiration. Try it again. All right. Who, me? Oh. No. Uh, uh, oh, yes. I need to. Okay. Yeah. Nobody cares if you step on the pretty girl's feet. Yeah. Ah. Yes. I am. I am very dexterous. All right. Moment. So. Thank you. Um, he rolled an 03. So you two start to like do this very intricate uh, 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 waltzing dance. Oh. And he's impressed. He's clearly impressed that you know the steps. And you get the sense that he's like, um, Shivant knows this one. <laughs> uh, and so when the dance ends, he takes your hand and he kisses your hand. And then oh. he, he introduces himself. Uh, uh, I am Count Karl von Duryen. Ooh, it is a pleasure to meet you. And he clicks his heels together as he. Kyle von Bergen, what? Uh, Carl von Doyen would be the Thank English you. version. But German is von Doyen. Von Doyen, yes. And I tell him that I am uh, Dr. Joan Lamb. It is, um, it is a rare and uh, wonderful pleasure to meet a woman who dances such as you, Professor especially a woman of letters. How do I know any German at all? Yeah, it doesn't have it on my thing. But, uh... All right. Um, he will, uh, uh, I trust that we will dance again. Well, if we happen to meet again, I would love to. Then in my language, Auf Wiedersehen which means until I see you again. I'll be and interesting. He will, uh, he will uh, disappear off into the crowd. What's, uh, what's Holly doing? Uh, Holly is dancing with a, a lovely young lady who uh, uh, is, when, when, he, uh, when he says he's a doctor, she's like, oh, I've never met a doctor before. <laughs> oh God, one of those. <laughs> oh, I've lost him for the night. I'll go sit back down and drink. <laughs> Actually, he kind of looks like he'd rather be anywhere else. <laughs> ah, okay, that's that's what I needed. I needed a I I'm needed like, a hint. At, at that, I stop and I'm like, "You must have gone to the doctor at some point. <laughs> have you never been sick?" Uh, my my parents told me I was rich. We don't go to the doctor. Well, then they the, the doctor comes to you. Yeah. Because I've then, never been uh, sick before, though. I'm rich. I don't get sick. I don't okay. think that how it I, works. I see I'm them impressed. talking and I'm gonna come over because he looks like he needs a rescue bad. <laughs> ah, bitch. And she walks <laughs> off. Whoa. <laughs> Jersey girl, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and you guys will, will continue to dance. Was that? <laughs> uh, um, and yeah, you dance the night away. And uh, it's Sweet. the next day you are a quarter of the way of your voyage through uh, 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 across the Atlantic. And uh, there is a, uh, a little bit of a commotion at breakfast. And you see, uh, uh, Professor Lamb, you see uh, the, the Count, Count Van Duyen, uh, is having a heated discussion with, um, with the staff of of the uh, of the dirigible, um, apparently in German, but there's a lot of spitting going on. Um, it's German. Yeah. He seems very angry about something, and he finally storms off and slams the door. He's in a he's in a the suite, and he slams the door. Um, Do we see any of that? Yeah, you all will yeah, see right. him like storm off and slam. Uh, does anyone speak German? Little. No. Yeah, you can make a German roll. All right. Um, the only you hear Diebstahl is the the word you hear. You know, he 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 like he just goes Diebstahl and he storms off into his into his room. I don't know that one. <laughs> hmm. right, is, uh, Joan, is that the fellow that you were you were dancing with last night? Yes. No, he's he's a as a, a German count. Yeah. Might want to find out what's going on, right? Yeah, I was no, thinking, no. Uh, poor no, guy. No, 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 no. You know what we don't need to do? Get into trouble on a moving vehicle. 
boat, oh, no, dirigible, we trouble. whatever. No. The guy you was know, a perfect need... gentleman last night, and I was dancing with him. He was no, a perfect no, no. gentleman. Joan, so whatever his problems him. are, are his problems. <laughs> Joan, do you remember the last time that we got involved with someone else's problems on a moving vehicle? It, I'll give you a hint. It involved fishmen. Yep. Oh, or wait, was that the time? Or what about the time before when we were on a boat and we ended up, what was the, what were those little weird things that were jumping all over the place in the, met, in the sick bay? The nerdlings. Yeah. That, that, okay. Nerdlings. Okay. But that, but that wasn't us to be fair. That By was the, the way, yeah. I don't care what the other options are. The, epi- the title of next episode is what we don't need to do is get in trouble on a moving vehicle. That is the title <laughs> of the next episode. Because that, my friends, that's called foreshadowing. Boy, isn't it? <laughs> well, just a counterpoint. If this fellow, this, this uh, fellow is very rich and powerful, we, we could use some friends. Oh. But we also don't I'll, need enemies. I'll tell you what, I will commiserate with the, uh, the, the, the cooking staff people and go, oh man, what's that, that guy? What did he do? Kind of thing. And see what happens. In Schulegung, Fräulein? There it is. Oh, no English? Uh, I, I speak some English. How can I help you, ma'am? Oh, just, I saw that guy yelling at you. Are you okay? Yes, everything is fine, ma'am. What was, what was wrong? What was his problem? That is not your concern, madam. Oh, well, I just was worried about you. That's all. You are very kind. Thanks. I'm playing up the jersey for him. <laughs> He's playing up the intractable German for you. Yeah. I, I thought so. <laughs> I figured that. <laughs> oh, you, you, you got a talkative one there. <laughs> <laughs> They're not so chatty. You, get, you have a way with people. Surprisingly chatty uh, for, for, for a German person. And I think at lunchtime of day two, we're going to call it a uh, call it an evening. It is right. it is the the it is the the apportioned time, and I always end on time. Uh, so here we I, I mean I don't know why I'm gonna read these because there's really only one choice for the titles, but uh, what we have for titles of um, we'll have the element of surprise. We never do. Uh, I don't know how sneaky you can be. Let's just assume the worst. Also a fine title. Uh, I don't want to hand everything over. I just want to hand it over. Uh, what, did, what did they do now? That's not a moon. That's a flesh star. Uh, this actually was before, the, before Emma made the magic quote. This was the quote. It was like reading a train wreck. I enjoyed that. Um, magic works. We don't work well. It's very blood-like. When we said we don't share, we meant don't share. And I think the clear choice for episode title, what we don't need to do is get in trouble on a moving vehicle. I think that that is the yeah. title of next episode. Oh, foreshadowing. Yep. And no, so that's the title. Do, oh, I was going to say, well, four, four, five we shadowing, six shadowing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is get in trouble on a moving vehicle. It's yeah. clearly what we do. Uh, so thank you all so much for the bits. I think we're putting a big chunk in yeah. the OI there. A nice chunk of chunk of change. There we go. Yeah. That, uh, that 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 makes me think there might be some nice giveaways uh, coming up next week. Uh, and speaking of next week, Monday it's the finale of D and D with Rick and Morty, um, which I'm given to understand the kids love. And part one. Part one. <laughs> oh, the finale, finale part one. There it is. <laughs> Oh man, don't give Aaron any ideas. Uh, <laughs> Tuesday, they're back and they're really about the same as ever. The chaos agents uh, will be doing that thing they do. Uh, ignoring Thomas really is, is what they do. Uh, and then we are back on Saturday uh, for more with the Great Dane Society. Uh, Seth, congratulations. Enjoy those dice. Yeah. Uh, uh, this will be, you know, we're really saving on postage. We'll just, uh, you know, we can, uh, it's a nice short jump. Uh, and I th- there you go. Oh, there, only the percentile dice have been rolled, although she pulled out a D20 for some reason. We're still not. I accidentally rolled a D20. I was feeling festive. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, be sure to look out coming soon. Uh, uh, Aaron and uh, 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 they put out another one of their, uh, Aaron and Herbs did another one of their movie talks, Aaron and Warren. Uh, be sure to look for it coming next week. They're going to be going over in great detail 
uh, uh, the Bill Cosby magnum opus, Warren Part Six. It's going to be super exciting. Oh. Mm. I I what? The title of that movie. I think I just messed up the name of that movie. Damn it. I, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's not just me going, what? Uh, but uh, uh, that, that's a joke. They're not going to do that. That was a terrible movie. And um, I would be shocked if they talked about it. I wouldn't really. And uh, a new episode of the Untitled Podcast just dropped. Uh, uh, talking to my buddy Ando from H- Hyber. And they are awesome. So listen to that. And yeah, I think with that, goodbye. Internet. Oh, next week. It will be one year that we've been doing all of this silliness. Oh, wow. Next what? Next wow. week will be one year that we have been uh, uh, doing all of this. Now, Proviso, there was a there was a break through there, you know, so our year was uh, extended, but uh, it has been a year of me saying goodbye, internet friends. <laughs>